Hi, everybody. Before we get into the main show, we at the Pro Wrestling Fans Podcast just want to give our condolences to the family of the late, great WWE Hall of Famer, a true legend in our sport, Superfly Jimmy Snuka. Um, the words, there's really no words to express uh, our thoughts at this time other than Superfly Jimmy Snuka was a true legend in the sport of professional wrestling, and he will be missed by all. What's up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of the Pro Wrestling Fans Podcast with Adam and Phil. I'm Phil. I'm Adam. Whew. Like always. I know it's been a while, but we're back. It's been a fucking minute. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. Tell a friend. Tell your friend Violent J. Fuck Violent J. Fuck ICP, too. Hey. Fuck hey. him. Fuck him right up the asshole. Fuck well, I support my Juggalos this uh, coming September. Nope. The March on Washington. Slim Shady all the way. Anyway, yep. Juggalos are not a gang. I don't care. <clears throat> they still suck. We are three days away from the 2017 Royal Rumble. Not only that, there's been so much shit going down in wrestling. We've got to talk about it. Yep. Where do you want to start, sir? Catch wait, me wait. outside. How about that? How have you been, Adam? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? <clears throat> Catch me outside. Catch me outside. How about that? What's that mean? What do you mean by that? It means, yeah, exactly what she said. Like, just like I said. All right. Yeah. How have you been? Divorced and lonely. How about you? Married and happy. Aw. Sorry. I forget um, what that's like. It's all right. Wrestling's kept me hold, holding me back, so really? it's good. I didn't know you were going to go there. And, yeah. yeah. I thought you were going to go before there. We, before we go to the Rumble, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep good to my promise. Like I said earlier. Hold on, hold on, I'm, I'm hold on. Say it. Hold on. Before before we say anything, I'm say it. it's kind of wrestling related, so let me say. Go ahead. <clears throat> congratulations to WWE Hall of Famer Donald nah, Trump on his inauguration as President of the United States of America. <laughs> You're breaking up. Can't hear you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fuck Donald Trump. I think that was loud enough. Fuck him. With a rusty rake right up his fucking backside. Okay. How do I you really feel? I will never respect that fucking man ever. Piece of yeah. shit. We're, uh, and I don't. I didn't vote Hillary either, and I didn't vote for Trump. And you can judge me all you want, fucking both. Don't care neither way. We're six days in, and shit's going bad. Hate him. Hate him like a fucking pest. Yeah. How about that swamp? Anyway, let's mm. let's talk actual wrestling. Let's go wrestling. Let's go wrestling. Back to the happy place. Mm. Find your happy place. Find your happy place. So, rumbles this weekend. Yes. I thought we'd first talk about. The old Rumbles, where it started and how we got here. What do All you think? Right. You want to go there for a little bit? Sure. All right. Off the top of my head, where are we starting? 88? 88, the first Rumble. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Hacksaw Jim Duggan eliminated the one-man one one man gang. Game. Sort of, to win. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. 20-man Rumble. 20-man Rumble. That, and that, not for the title. Not for the title. Or not for the not for the shot at Mania. Right. Um, that didn't come into play until... 93. Uh, 93? Yeah, yep. 93. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, it, it was weird to me to see the first two guys already in the ring instead of being introduced. Mm -hmm. I can see what they were doing there. Just, all right, let's get the shit started. Right. It was um, just a battle royal back then. It's just like, eh, here you go. Yeah, it was just a battle royal with everybody coming out. Right. You know, it really didn't seem like anything special when I watched the first one back. It was like, all right, this is it's just a battle royal. Just like WrestleMania 1. Yeah. If you can sit through mm -hmm. WrestleMania 1, you're a fucking... You're huge, a champ. You're yeah. a huge fan for that. Cause, yeah. God, I can't remember... Sitting through it all, like, oh, Jesus. WrestleMania 1. I mean, I remember highlights, but there's very few, you know. And so the first Rumble was actually the year after the first Mania. 88. Well, no, 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 no. Nope, no. Nope, first sorry. Mania was Scratch that. not 88, Scratch sir. That. You're right, 85. <laughs> Scratch that. Call me stupid. Smack me up inside the head. 
It was uh, after WrestleMania 3, which was in 87, and then it was in January of uh, 88. So, yeah. Okay. I went, uh, went down and wrote down, wrote down uh, who had like the longest times in the match. Bret Hart, 25 minutes, 42 seconds, and he was the first entry. Nice. Uh, one thing that stuck out, there was a women's tag team title match. Yep. Uh, the Jumping Bomb Angels <laughs> and wow. the Glamour Girls. I didn't watch that match, but... <clears throat> okay. Bathroom break. <clears throat> I doubt it was a bathroom break you know, for back then. But that, that brings to an interesting question for me. Considering the women's division now in WWE, could the division support tag team titles? What do you think, dude? There's enough of them. I think there's roughly about 20 chicks. So women, women, competitors, sir, females, <laughs> ladies, whatever you want to, you know. Uh, there's about 20 of them or so. So I would think if you added all of them from Raw, SmackDown, and NXT, you'd have a decent roster. Um, but yeah, you- I don't know if you want another title. I mean. I can see uh, making it a, a, a split show title. Mm. Raw and SmackDown coming together, but like, look, let's do this special, mm-hmm. you know? Well, if, if you remember the original draft back in, what is it, 03, 04, whatever, uh, the uh, women's title, and uh, I think it was before Brock took the, made the WWE title exclusive to SmackDown, the title was on both shows, and the women's title was on both shows. So, um, yeah. But, you know... I mean, those those being on now that Mickey James is back and Mickey James is back, you know, that's good news. That's that's good. Just keep keeps the Bellas away from it, you know. Oh, the Bellas keep them away, and the team. We only of, have one Bella to deal with. The them. the team of I don't know Oscar and anybody versus Charlotte and Nia Jax or but I, I wouldn't I don't know, but I wouldn't take the ma- the ones that are mainly singles competitors. Mm. Take two that are you know. That don't have anything going on at the time, like like in NXT you've got uh what, Billy Kane, uh, Billy Kane, Peyton, Peyton Royce. Royce, yeah, tag team right there. Yeah, you know. But you know you'd have to probably throw a couple people together just like you know like uh, Alexa and Mickey. Oh yeah, they, and um, they they like to do that anyway. Enzo and Cass they put them together because right. Cass needed a mouthpiece. Right. <laughs> he wasn't doing nothing as Colin Cassidy, and now you're not allowed to call him that. It has to be his and his phone's going off, and we are live. We'll be back after a short break. And we're back. When last we left our heroes, we were talking about the Royal Rumble and then... Uh... Wham, bam, smack. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, okay. Um, yeah, women's tag titles. Holy Rumble's Batman. <laughs> Holy Royal Rumble's Batman. <laughs> Holy steel chair, Batman. Nice. <laughs> the chair, it's rusty and full of holes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um... But yeah, women's tag titles. Yes and no. Yes and no. Um, I think maybe if they if they add a lot more talent, like after this women's tournament coming up, then we could look to maybe think about something like that. It depends on. I think that would it. make it really interesting. That could be interesting depending on who's in it. Yeah. I know Angelina Love said <laughs> something about being interested. So of course she's interested. Yeah. She's not doing anything right now. She wants the money. Yeah. She wants the money. Um. So yeah. Of course you're going to do anything for money. Oh, and also in the first Rumble, one man gang had the most eliminations with six. Nice. Six out of 20. You eliminated a third of the people. Good job. Go ahead, uh, Akeem. Good, good job. Man, nope, one man gang was totally better than Akeem. Can't leave it down. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he had a music video and everything. Uh, Everybody remembers that. Of course they do. Sadly. That was the goofiest thing in the world. Ass- but I guess you couldn't have a biker kind of guy teaming up with a cop. That would have been weird. You know, to ask, I mean, talk to Slick. Slick. See the Reverend you? Slick. He, the he wouldn't want to talk to me. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, Royal Rumble 89. Winner. Big John Studd. Big John Studd. Um, he, th- he eliminated Ted, Di- Ted DiBiase. Um, Hulk Hogan eliminated nine people. Nice. Yeah. And Mr. Perfect, 27 minutes, 58 seconds. Go Perfect. Yeah. 90. Hogan. Winner, Hogan. Eliminated Perfect. Hogan yeah. eliminated six people. Haku was in there for 22 minutes and 37 seconds. Go Ming. Considering times we're seeing now, that is not very long. Right. Um, 91. Hogan. Yeah. Who'd he eliminate? Last? Yeah. I remember Perfect, but that was 90. Yeah. Uh, last eliminated. 
Mm. Top of my head, I can't remember. Oh. Earthquake. Ah. Yeah. All right. John Tenta. Gotcha. R.I.P. 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 <clears throat> R.I.P. Um, Savage no showed that event. Oh. Huh. But that was the same event where uh, Sergeant Slaughter defeated the Ultimate Warrior for the WWF Championship. Sla- uh, Savage is the reason Slaughter won. Hit him with, hurt him with the scepter and caught him. That, that is correct, That's sir. That's where he was. Yeah. I remember that. Then uh, that led us to uh, the greatest <clears throat> rumble of all fucking time. 1992. Yeah. Ric Flair, title on the line, won that motherfucker, came out at number three. And it was the first time the winner was going to go on to WrestleMania to fight for the title. Because of the whole savage... Or, wait, wait a minute. Let me let me get this right now. The title was on the line because of... No, it, it, was, it wasn't on the line. The Rumble. It wasn't Why on the line was at the Rumble. Yeah, whoever won the Rumble got the title. No, not the title. It was the title shot. Flair won the title because he won the Rumble. Yeah. Because they there was some big misunderstanding between Sid and Hogan and Warrior and or not Warrior, I'm sorry, Savage. This is why WrestleMania eight didn't happen the way it should have with Flair versus Hogan. I'd have been perfectly fine with Savage versus Sid and Harold Hogan versus Flair. But they didn't give us that. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Flair won the rumble and got the title. Last eliminated Sid, thanks to yeah. Hulk Hogan. Yeah, I remember him. Sit, or Hogan's on the outside, and they cut grabbing the six greatest Royal Rumble, Rumble, Rumble promos ever with a tear in my eye. <laughs> Bobby Heenan, perfect in the background, just epic. I love, I love Heenan, and uh, um, that whole entourage was just perfect. Yeah. No pun intended. It was great. Uh, also, at that event, Piper versus the Mountie for the IC title. Nice. Yeah. Uh, 1993, won by Yokozuna, who'd eliminate, with Randy Savage tried to pin him for no, <laughs> you can't pin in the rumble. That was great. And then literally kicked out <laughs> and threw him over the top rope from the floor. And then Bobby Heenan was like, from the floor, from the damn floor. I'm like, yeah, I remember that. And longest pr- competitor in that match, Bob Backlund, an hour, one minute, ten seconds, beating Ric Flair's title from the year before. His, or record. his record, I mean, not his yeah. title. <clears throat> and, uh. Yeah. No. Not my favorite Rumble. No. No. Nothing, I don't think. There's one. When we'll get to it, I'll tell you. There's one that comes close, in my opinion. But 92 still stands out as the best of all time. So many Hall of Famers, so many legends in that. Shawn Michaels is in it, and Marty Jannetty is not. And they were the Rockers then. What did I tell you? That they already knew who they wanted they to They knew. The, uh... They already knew who Mr. Mania, Mr. Mania, the writer, yeah, Mr. WrestleMania was going to be. Yeah. Damn, I couldn't talk. Take us up to 94. Brett and Luger. Yeah. Simultaneous bullshit. We can't tell which one of them... He won. No, he won. No, he won. No, he won. The referees are confused. I won. No, I won. And you have a co-winner of a battle royal. That's bullshit. And then he went on. You two get back in the ring. Fight. No, we're both going to get a title shot at WrestleMania. You're going to screw your shot up. You're going to win. All right. And see, this was, you know, this was before ECW's influence because this, the main event at Mania would have been a triple threat. Easy. You know? Yeah. Easy. Thank God Luger Instead, we had the convoluted coin flippage. It would have been <clears throat> Yokozuna fighting somebody and the other person fighting someone who's like them. It would have been Luger versus Crush or Brett and Owen, and we got Brett and Owen. We got Brett and Owen, which was the best, I'm going to say right now, best opener to a, Wrestlema- to a WrestleMania. Quite possibly. Yeah. The best opening. And then he went on and lost, lost that <clears throat> match. Then went on to win the main event, which is just... I always said that if Owen beat Brett, but beat Brett, he should have went on to take his title shot. But I mean, yeah. that would have made it more interesting. 
Yeah, definitely. If you lost your match in the beginning, you should have been eliminated like it was a tournament. Right. But I can see what they were going for. They wanted you to be, you know, equally tired or whatever right. going forward. But yet Lex only had one match. So, and so still yeah, lost. really, <laughs> really, Owen had nothing to lose. All right. Brett's just like shit. I got a match later on. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna lose this match. Let him have his win. I'm gonna go win the title later. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably his mentality all day, like, yeah, I'm losing Owen, but I'm I'm beating Yoko, so I'm good. Right. Uh, Bob Holly's gonna host me on his shoulders and carry me around the oh, ring. Oh, speaking of Bob Holly at that Royal Rumble, him and the one, two, three kid won the tag titles. Tag titles. Yeah. I remember that. And that was when Bam Bam pushed. LT. Lawrence Taylor. Worst WrestleMania ever. God damn it. Ever. Yeah. And I ho- I hope. That Bam Bam never lived that down. Absolutely. Whenever somebody saw him, they're like, hey, LT, fuck you guys. Oh, man, fuck you. You had a shitty match. Ever. He won with a forearm. Right. Bullshit. It's Bam Bam fucking big. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm squeaking. It's Bam Bam fucking Jeez, big. Man. I was upset. Yeah, I'm still Get upset. Get your upset, day. but calm down. I'm still upset over it to this day. 95 uh, was a bad 95 year. 95 was a bad year. Uh, they, they were they were coming out of one minute intervals too, which irritated that's the shit so out of me. That's so fucking long. That is not long. No wait, that's short. That's short compared to now because they do like a minute and a half to two minutes now. Yeah, it's it, it's it used to be two minutes. They switched to one minute, then a minute and a half. Just stick it at two minutes, you know. Give them some time to do something. Give yeah. up the match. I mean that does make it an hour long match at that point. Right. Still. Yeah, that's yeah. why they only have like four to five matches on the pay per view though. Yeah. You make time for the match itself. Uh, skip ahead to 96. Oh, we're skipping 95? Oh, skip 95. Skip 5. That's oh, 95 Michaels. was uh, HBK beating the Bulldog. Yeah. Or eliminating the Bulldog last. Sean eliminated eight people in that thing. There you go. Holy fucking shit. There you go. That's um, where they, they they really sat down on the rules of both feet hitting the floor. Yeah, that's his yeah. video of hanging on on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. So that, Bulldog thought he won. They played the music. I'd be mad as hell. Hey man, my music was playing. Nope, nope, no. Nope. He knocked his ass out of the ring from the second turnbuckle too. That that's a yeah. That's only that. Nope, only one. Foot. He had no chance to like protect himself on the way down too. Sorry, Davey. Dick. Sorry, Davey. You just <laughs> whoops. Whoa, fuck. I can I can catch me outside. How about that? I wanted to see them get to the back, like motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like man. And that accent and shit. I had it. I didn't know what's going on. I had it. What are you talking about, Neville? <laughs> I'm the king of the cruiserweights. I'm like, are you really? Because uh, <laughs> Rey Mysterio might have something to say about that. <laughs> when I see Neville <laughs> with his fucking ears sticking out of his hair, <laughs> I think of, I'm the grumpy old troll who lives under the bridge. <laughs> Jesus. I know, right? I think of... Uh, <laughs> I don't know how much Fresh Prince you watch. I'm, I think of Will Smith. And just... Oh, there's damn. There's an episode and he was like, you look like a car coming down the street with both doors open. I'm like, shit. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. He's a fucking hobbit. That's uh, what he is. He's a fucking hobbit cruiserweight. Uh, my precious. Fuck. <laughs> Smeagol. <laughs> my precious. <laughs> That's what it's going to be like when uh, he wins the title. My uh, precious. Give me my precious. <laughs> Oh Jesus! He's got the hair for it and shit. <laughs> just sit there on his and just rocking like my precious chap, little chap. I'm like, oh Jesus, oh, what is man. wrong with you? Um, uh, ninety six HBK eliminated Diesel, Diesel with a super kick. With a super kick. We, we, I thought we were friends. I thought we were two dudes with attitude. No, <laughs> no, Shawn Michaels. Nah, I'm man. going to WrestleMania, son. Sorry. Uh, Triple H was in there for forty eight minutes and four seconds. Wow. Yeah. Okay then. Uh, Smoking Guns beat the Body, Dama, Body, Body Donnas, Donnas for the tag titles, and Under, Undertaker and Brett went to a DQ finish because of Jeff Jarrett and the roadie, for some reason, why they were coming down. Uh, and Shawn Michaels, I think, was involved, too. Uh, have to none of that's one. good. What is that, 96? Yeah. yeah. I'll have to check that out. And on the free-for-all pre-show, Duke the Dumpster Drossy beat Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember they had a rivalry because 96 was when uh, Hall and Nash left and they punished Triple H mm-hmm. for them, you know. So they wasn't going to fuck up with Sean and they wasn't gonna, can't do nothing to Hall and Nash, so who's left? No, we're going to fuck with you. We're going to put you in a hog pen match with Henry Godwin and Duke the Dumpster Drossy matches and 
Yeah, you're going to fucking suck until about eh, 98, 99. This is what happens when you say goodbye to your friends in the middle of the ring. When you break kayfabe. <laughs> you broke kayfabe. You broke it. It's your fault. Not for you. Um, on the 97, uh, I'm looking on the wiki page, I'm like, holy shit, there was a lot of good matches on here that weren't on the goddamn pay-per-view. Yeah. Uh, three matches with Mexican stars. Yeah, sad. Because well, yeah. it's the Alamo Dome, because they were trying to get that Texas-Mexican yeah. fan base. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I remember this. Jesus Christ, you remember where it was. Yeah, well, well, they've been saying because it's the 20-year anniversary mm-hmm. since they've been there. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, they're going to go on the back this year. Remember the Alamo Dome. But forget 2004. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, remember the Rumble. Except, Except this for... <laughs> Don't remember that one. Asterisk. Asterisk Stevie Richards. <laughs> um, why is it? Why is it like Al Snow or somebody? Why is it gonna be Stevie Richards? Why can't it be Rick Root or Junkyard Dog or something? Yeah. Stevie Richards. Uh, ninety-seven was when Stone Cold won the Royal Royal Rumble to go on to Bret Hart won. What? But referees didn't see it. Then Austin threw his ass out. and They gave it to him. Fine. Uh, I'll, I'm going That's with what the. Happened. I'm going with the official. You know, Austin decision here. I'm sorry. You know. you know, he's got in the record books it says Austin won. Yeah, but Bret and Hart Austin won. went to Mania and beat Sean. No, no, no. That's the year before. That was the year before. Ninety-seven. Yeah, this is ninety-seven. This is ninety-seven. So WrestleMania thirteen when Bret and Austin fought in a submission match. Oh, the title oh, yeah, right. was so fucking screwy then. Bret Sid, Bret Sid Taker. I'm like what? Yeah, just I, I don't even remember how Sid became. Somehow in there between the Rumble and Mania, Sid became champ. I don't want to know why. Oh, no. Brett was champ. At the Rumble? No, not the Rumble. No. Uh, Sean was champ, and he beat Sid for the, you know, in a title defense. So, okay, so when was Survivor Series? It, okay. So Sean got it back from Sid after Sid hit Jose Lothario with the camera at Survivor Series a couple months before. All right, you're getting my, getting, getting my gears grinding. You all right there? Yeah, you I'm okay? good. I'm having, right. you know, this is the one thing that I know more than. Yeah, that rumble, it was uh, Vader beating The Undertaker. No, oh, the Fatal 4-Way match. No, that wasn't a Fatal 4-Way match. No, 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 no. Who was champ at the rumble? Sean. He had to give it up. I think he lost his smile or something like that. I think that was around that time. Yeah. Then they had a fatal four-way. One of Shawn Michaels' excuses to go home and not you know, lose the title. title <laughs> and the title was vacant, and it was Brett. <laughs> Ask Shane Douglas about that. <laughs> it was Brett, Austin, Taker, and Vader. Brett won. Sid beat him the night uh, next night on Raw, but thanks to Austin, Sid was champ going into Mania and fought Taker. Goddamn. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> there's there's just two months of like five title changes. You, 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 even though we're talking about Rome. There's way too much about them. Way too much of that shit. Yep. Yeah, yeah that's right. 98 was when uh, Stone Cold was... eliminated The Rock yes. to go on to WrestleMania. Yes. And fight Sean. Yes. 14. Yeah. Nice hype for that match, too. Tyson. Yeah. DX shirts. And if you didn't match. seem like Tyson turning on DX. Cold Stone. Yeah, Cold that's... Stone? <laughs> that's what I remember. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> at, a, at a press conference, too, of all places. <laughs> now, what the hell is... All right. Sure. <sighs> yep. 98, 99. Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon. Oh. Still not the worst rumble. <laughs> it, it made for a good story. We're probably one of the worst it's winners. It's me, Austin! Probably one of the worst winners of the rumble. But there's been worse rumbles. See, this... I hate when they use the McMahons in a big position like that. Put them in a big major storyline. Right, you put Shane against the Undertaker. That's a that's a WrestleMania match. It was a great match. Uh, I loved it. Okay, but it served no purpose. It did ultimately serve no purpose. You could have had someone fight the Undertaker in, Stane, in Shane's stead. If, if you, you know? win, if you beat Taker at Mania, you're gonna <clears throat> you run raw. Okay, well you lost, and you're still running raw. What was the point? Right. I just want to see you get your ass kicked at WrestleMania. Nah, I just want you to fall off that thing. I don't care about you. <laughs> I didn't think you'd do it. <laughs> Goddamn, son. I didn't know you had the balls. You got the grapefruits. Oh, my God. You got those from me. Yeah. Uh, 2000 Rock. Yeah, eliminate the big show. Big show. 
Test was in there the longest at 26 minutes, 17 seconds. Interesting point about Big Show. The man has been in, like, I don't remember how many Rumbles. But I noticed, I was watching, I was binge watching Rumbles. He comes out number 30 a lot. He's had the 30 spot more than once. And he's never won. Yeah, number 30 isn't a very good number to have. Only two people have won at 30. Undertaker was the first. Yep. And I don't know who the other person was. Cena. Cena. Nope. Yep, and number, uh, number also Triple H last year. Triple H came out number 30 and won. So, it's happened three times. But, for him to be number 30, the biggest guy, the freshest guy, and still lose. And he's lost, the, he's been in the final two more than once. 2000 with Rock, 2004 with, <clears throat> I'm going to say it, Chris Benoit. I yeah. remember Chris Benoit. I don't know why they don't. I know why they won't. I don't know why they don't. Um, and, he, you know, he's been he's been eliminated. You know, it's always Mark Henry or Kane or, you know, somebody like that that usually ends up, if, if he's not the final four, he usually gets eliminated by somebody like that. Um I think one year Big Show and Kane eliminated each other. But, yeah, he's been number 30, like, so many times and still hasn't won a damn thing. There's been a lot of people that came close. Key in point, 2012. Jericho should have won that. Not Sheamus, but we'll get to that. Yeah. I'm just rambling. There's a lot of things Chris Jericho should have done and hasn't been able to do. But we can get to that later. It made me a little bit sad with the whole Big Show thing. Yeah. The man's a fucking monster. Especially now. Should have had every title in the world. Right, you're the biggest guy in the company. Right. Uh, Where are we at, 01? Oh, 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 2000. Huh? The undefeated Kurt Angle. And Taz. Yes. Opening match. Also. <laughs> Triple H and Cactus Triple Jack H and in a Cactus street fight. Jack is the match that made me respect Triple H. Somebody posted that and I, I said the same exact mm-hmm. thing. Great match. Could yeah. watch that right now if I had to. Uh, 2001, Stone Cold. Yep. Kane was in there for 53 minutes, 46 seconds. That's when he set his record with 11, 11 el- eliminations. Yep. Uh, Jericho defeated... Benoit. What's his What's his name? Benoit. I, I can't make this out. Benoit. Uh, ben... Benoit? Benoit. Benoit? Yes. Benoit. <laughs> <laughs> Ladder match for the IC title. Hashtag Benoit. <laughs> Hashtag Benoit. Damn it. Hashtag Royal Rumble 2004. Never forget. Great ladder there match There you go. 2001. Great IC title ladder match. Yeah. And the Dudleys beat Edge and Christian for the tag titles. Which you want to put two tag teams? Come on. For a while there, it was Dudleys, Edge, and Christian, and Hardys. Dudleys, Edge, Christian, and Hardys. And just... You don't have a fourth? What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> then they put Benoit and Ed and Jericho together. And we got TLC4. But that's jumping ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, My head hurts. 2002 winner Triple H. H. Last eliminated Kurt Angle. And Ric Flair beat Vince McMahon in a street fight. Sure did. <laughs> of course he did. It's yep. Ric Flair. Fuck yeah, it's Ric Flair. Bloody Vince McMahon, too. He's oh, yeah. pretty nasty. Uh, 2003 Brock. Undertaker eliminated by Brock, who went on to win Lesnar. it last night. Oh, 2003. Look at that. Yep. Kurt Angle defeated Benoit for the title. Great match. Go watch Scott it right Steiner now. Scott Steiner beat, uh, beat Triple H via DQ in a match for the, the match that championship. The made Evolution. In a match for the, I'm sorry, uh, the, the paper championship, uh, the world heavyweight championship. Mm. Back then it was important. No, no, I mean, this Triple, Triple H was the first champion, and they just kind of gave it to him. Oh, Bischoff gave it to him. <clears> yeah. yeah. I remember. He yeah. didn't beat anybody. He just kind of rewarded it to him. But. Which that's... You know, the, the World Heavyweight Championship yeah. and uh, the Universal Championship have a uh, parallel September for me. September 2nd, 2003. I remember it like yesterday. Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, 2005. Um, oh, we skipped 04? Oh, I thought we were using uh, WWE's uh, references here. Uh, Sorry. No, this isn't. <laughs> this ain't, this ain't <clears throat> Monday Night Raw. This ain't SmackDown. This ain't even WWE. This is PWF. Goddamn right. And we're talking about Chris Benoit <laughs> fucking winning the fucking Benoit. Royal Rumble. God damn it. Look, there's a lot of shit about Benoit. Number one. Yeah, number one. He, he, he was number one being punished with number one. Who was number two? Eddie Guerrero. 
Eddie wasn't in it, I don't think. Eddie was in number two. He was? Are you sure? It was great. Yep. For, for five minutes. No, no, no. They lasted almost, no, Eddie lasted almost the whole damn thing. Daniel Pewter was in it. <laughs> Daniel Pewter. He talked all kinds of shit. Then Eddie and Benoit started trading chops. And then not the, here comes the countdown. Here comes Hardcore Holly. You want to trade chops? No, we're done. Right. And JR's like, <laughs> JR's like Hard, Hard, Hardcore Holly hates everybody, but he especially hates rookies. I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. They just, all three just took turns chopping his ass. Like, oh, God, it was nasty. I remember that. Jeez. Yep. Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Go ahead. No, Orton was the second one in the Royal Rumble. Not Eddie. 2004? 2004. I'm looking at it right here. But I do remember the chops. It was definitely Eddie. It was not Eddie. Orton wasn't even... Orton Eddie was, was not in it. Fighting for an AC title. I see title. Eddie was not in it. Dude, I just watched it. Dude, you're remembering wrong. Then what rumble was that? I don't know. <clears throat> you know what? I think it's so five. It could be oh five. <laughs> because yeah. I do remember something now that uh, you know what? Yeah, it's two thousand five. Because I think I remember Jr. saying something about he won it last year. So, okay. So yeah. it, was, it was Benoit and Eddie that started two thousand five. Okay. But Benoit won oh four. Damn it. Yeah. Not nobody else and. And he went on to win uh, the championship from Triple H and Shawn Michaels in an epic triple threat match. He made Shawn tap out. Which kind of I'm not sure if you can find on the network No, or not. no, no. He made Triple H tap out. Yeah, he made Triple H tap and out. And then Backlash, he made Shawn tap out. Yeah. That exact same triple threat match. Which, oh. And that's what I always hate about Backlash. Raw just put on the same matches they had from WrestleMania. And it was like... That's where it started. I already fucking saw this. That's where it what started. am I doing? I don't want to see your rematch. That's what Payback and <clears throat> Battleground and all that shit is now. Yeah. Hey, look, it's a raw episode on pay per view. Right. It's Boring Bailey ass versus episode Nia of Jax again. Right. Oh, can Bailey beat Nia Jax? She fucking did in NXT. Did you see that? Right. I did. Seen it like three times now. Oh, she made that bitch tap. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I've seen her beat her on NXT and Raw now. So, uh, next. Right. Uh, 2005. 05, Batista, Batista. Last eliminated John, John Cena. Cena. Uh, Benoit went 47 minutes, 26 seconds. And there was nothing else I, I can think to talk about on there. <laughs> Sounds like a men's fragrance, don't it? Benoit. <laughs> 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 Do you know it's, our, our it's lady It's killer. No. <laughs> it's killer. <laughs> oh. Had to. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not for young men. <laughs> Hide the women and children. <laughs> women and children first. Oh, All right. I take no. it back. I'm so fucking sorry. I take that back. Oh, my God. <laughs> women and children first. I'm All a right. terrible person. <laughs> that was Slip not funny. Yes, it was. Oh. <laughs> this is not funny. <laughs> None of this is funny. I wonder how many people out there in, in Radio Land are laughing right now. Oh. You know it's hilarious. This is not funny. It's not too. It's not too soon. It's been fucking how long now? No. God, 2007. It's been 10 years. God. And I'm gonna say something. People are gonna be like, "Shut the fuck up, Phil." Go ahead. I don't think you did it. <sighs> Kevin Sullivan did not do it. Kevin Sullivan had nothing to do with it. Uh, I just said I don't think you did it. That's all. That's all. Catch me outside. How about that? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Trump alright next there you go fuck Donald Trump we all feel better after hearing that whew 06 Rey Mysterio eliminated Randy Orton last still holds the longest record of any time being in a row yep 102-12 um and last Cena eliminated. beat Edge for the champion WWE championship and uh-huh. Kurt beat Mark Henry for the world heavyweight championship and then that epic, uh, epic appearance by Undertaker challenging Kurt Angle for No Way Out, which is an awesome match if you want to watch that. I suggest it on the network. 2006 No Way Out. Or if you have it on video or whatever. Or, you know, if you have, get out the VG, VHS and just pop it in. DVD. You know, if you got the Maybe DVD. Blu-ray now. Who knows? I don't know. 07. Undertaker won. Taker. Which, hey, that's 10 years ago. Maybe a 10-year mm, anniversary coming up. Second you know? favorite Rumble, in my opinion. You eliminated HBK. Great, great little dude. Just, just the two of them. You know who had the last? Who, who had the most eliminations in that event? The great Kali with seven. That's sad. Yeah. 
Um, and being in the Rumble was sad. Hardy's uh, beat Eminem. Yeah. Batista beat Kennedy for the World Heavyweight Championship. Well. John Cena beat tamed. Umaga in a last man standing match. I remember he tied the ropes around him. And put the STFU on him. Made him pass out. Uh, yeah. I don't want to go back and watch any of those except for the Rumble match. Yeah, that's sad. Yep. Uh, moving on. No wait. Cena. Cena. Triple H. Madison Square Les- Garden. Yeah. Yep. Eliminate, Triple H eliminated six, and Batista went 40, 37 minutes and 40 seconds. And in a career on the line match, Ric Flair beat MVP. I remember that. And just seeing that when I was looking it up, I was like, oh, the career on the line stuff. Yep. The Emotions. bastards. Emotions. Fuck, Fuck you, Vince. Fuck you, Shawn Michaels. He didn't <laughs> want to, damn it. You know, you know he said he loved I know him. he didn't. He didn't mean to. <laughs> He he had to. Uh, you, know. you could. Shawn Michaels is is, the, is at the level where he could piss off Vince and it still be okay. Yeah. So he could have went to the ring, tapped out, nah. and left. <laughs> You're oh. fired. Finger poke of doom to Shawn Michaels. Ah. Oh. You're fired. <laughs> Fuck you, Trump. <laughs> God. Uh. That's never gonna get old. Our country is just in. Whole bunch of peril. I choose Umaga. He's the best. <laughs> he chose Bobby Lashley. He, yeah, he chose. He didn't choose Bobby Lashley. Vince had Umaga. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, him choosing Umaga would make more sense though. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, uh, oh my. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh nine. Randy Orton. Randy Orton. Won. Uh, tri- like he, he, he won by eliminating Triple H yep. and. Triple H and Big Show shared the most eliminations with six. And Ray outlasted everybody with 49 minutes, 24 seconds. Not that was the uh, rumble where uh, Legacy was together, and they tried to throw out Triple H at the end. It was them and Triple H at the final four. Yeah. And Triple H eliminated, I think, I think it was DiBiase last, and then Cody and... Or uh, Cody was trying to throw out Triple H and then Orton threw them both out. Said screw you both. Yeah. I'm winning. It's my time. Do, 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 do. It's our time. 2010. Uh, 2010. Edge. Edge. That is right. Who did who did he eliminate last? Jericho. No, John. John Cena. Cena. Nah, that's right. He was feuding with Jericho. They went to WrestleMania and fought over the world title. Yep. Yep. HBK had six eliminations, and Cena lasted the longest with 22 minutes, 11 seconds. That's the year that Sean was trying to go to WrestleMania to fight Taker or something like that. Yeah, doing his, one more chance, man, one more chance. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, Batista eliminated him. He was kind of pissed. It was, it was kind of heartbreaking. Ah. Ah, <laughs> that's good. Ah. Uh, 2011, the 40-man rumble. Alberto Del Rio. <clears throat> I oh, mean, you gotta do it right. Alberto! <coughs> Alberto! <coughs> yeah, you do that. Fuck. You can't do it either. Del Rio. Del Rio. <laughs> Alberto El Patron. Page. There you go. Turn the page. He beat Del Rio. The last guy in the ring with him was Santino. Santino. Come on, man. You're looking at those two in the end, you're like, just really? throw, just throw Dude, out. Dude, Santino was over as fuck. I know he was, but he's not a WrestleMania main eventer. I'm sorry. It's all about okay? opportunity, man. I mean, Shit. he had Emelina dancing with him at one time, but that does not a main eventer make. Hey, you know, Which, pop, by the way, bubbles, pop, bubbles, pop, bubbles, I don't care what she comes bubbles. back as. I still do not give a shit about Emma. <sighs> All right? I'm tired of waiting for somebody that's not that important. Right. Like, um, so? <laughs> it's not like... Bring fucking Shinsuke up to the main roster. They're not showing that's vignettes like for uh, Asuka making her debut on one of those shows, no. Give me Asuka. Give me Ty Dillinger. Give me Boston Aries. Give me... Anybody else that's important? Give a damn about Emma. Emelina. She steals from Walmart. Don't give a shit. <laughs> Benoit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> damn it. I was taking a drink. We suck. Damn it. Trump. <laughs> Fix the lock, you cheater. No. <laughs> uh, 2012. Possibly the worst rumble. Sheamus won, beating, Sheamus. eliminating Eliminate Jericho, Jericho last. And although probably the best match on that card uh, that sparked my interest, the Fatal 4 match in the Steel Cage, or Triple Threat match, sorry, 
Big Show, Mark Henry, and Daniel Bryan. Who walked out? The little guy. The little man. <laughs> As champ. And then he went on to lose in 10 seconds or whatever to Sheamus. Fuck you, AJ. Fuck! <laughs> that was terrible. And the opening match. Lost the world title. Yeah, why the fuck was that seconds. the opening match? That shit is ridiculous. Uh, the world title should have been more respected than that. It's the World Heavyweight Championship. It, it just it just showed what they had re- what level of respect they had for Brian. Mm. You know? That's all that was. Hey, it'd be funny if you lose in like 12 seconds. <laughs> nope. Okay. No, it won't. Well, why would I? Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to. You can't make me. Yes, we can. Did you see what I did in Ring of Honor? Because I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I, I, they like me. Fans appreciate me, I think. Yeah. I, would, I would think so. 2013, Cena won, eliminating Ryback. Ryback was like, they wanted Ryback so bad to win. And it's like, no. But I, I, can't, I didn't want Cena to win either. But I can't see Ryback main eventing WrestleMania. Ugh. <clears throat> to think, uh, just no. I mean, hell, in WrestleMania 19, they gave Booker T a title shot and just... He won a royal, a battle royal on Raw. Triple H and Flair laughing at him the whole damn month, like, like. Yeah, <laughs> motherfuckers. Ugh. All you did was bury Booker T that buried, whole time. Buried him. He's like, you're gonna fight me at Mania? Okay, sure. <laughs> we know who's walking out of that. What's happening at WrestleMania 19? <laughs> Who am I uh, married Triple to? <laughs> okay. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, also, uh, in 13, uh, Sheamus and Ryback each eliminated five people. That's a third of the rumble between two people. Not bad. Not bad. And Ziggler was in for 49 minutes, 47 seconds. Was that the one where Ziggler started with Jericho? Um, I believe so. Yeah. Number two, he was like, I don't even care. Just bring him on out. And here comes Jericho. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, fucked up now. You done fucked up. Yeah, it was. It was, uh, Ziggler and, uh. Jericho. And Jericho lasted 47 minutes, 53 seconds. So, yeah. Nice. I mean, I'd like to see those two in a match today. Put those two, you know, for the IC title or something. A U.S. title. Shit. Right. Jericho's yeah. US, right now. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, and also, CM Punk was defeated by The Rock for the uh, WWE title. Again, screwing CM Punk out of, of WrestleMania. As soon as Cena won. Because they had the Rumble before the main event. Because, of course, The Rock's in the main event, so we're going to have that on last. Uh-huh. As soon as Cena won the Rumble, you're like, fuck. Yep. We're going to get Rock Cena. Once in a lifetime. Wait a minute. Again. Twice in a lifetime. Wait a minute. Maybe a third time. No, uh, no. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I don't know. On a wrestling pers- pers- perspective. Perspective. Thank you. CM Punk's making more sense I do what as I a can. wrestler. Yeah. But as an entertainment draw, give me some money. We're going to sell out the arena. Yeah, fine. So for that, I see Rock what they Cena. did there. But yeah. still. But as far as world I'm wrestling... Te- I'm, team, I'm team CM Punk. See? World wrestling. I think that half the time they forget <clears throat> that that other W is in there. They say it all the time. But <laughs> I think Vince just remembers the wee part. The, yeah, he the made, world entertainment. Yeah, he like, ends with entertainment. Remember, we make movies. No, we don't. Yeah, I'm. I watch it for the wrestling aspect of it. I mean, yes, there's entertaining, entertaining parts, but I'm not there for the comedy. If I want that, I'm gonna go to Comedy Central, not WWE Network. Yeah, I mean, uh, you have to have storylines for it to mean something, like a usual match. Right. Definitely. Yes. Okay, get that. But everything yeah. doesn't have to be comedy and Santino and and Santino and yeah. <laughs> Stupid shit like Santina. fucking people in caskets and giving birth to hands. And none of this shit is important. I understand that, you know, oh shit, you know, you, sm- you know, Kurt Angle's hitting on Triple H's wife. That's his wife. You don't do that to his wife. Triple H is pissed. He's going to defend Stephanie. Yeah. Now you fight Kurt Angle because he hit on your wife. That makes perfect sense to me. There's no comedy bullshit involved. I don't want to tear up your rant there, but... Um... Coincidentally, Triple H said that was the best sex he ever had with uh, Katie Vick. So. Yuck. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> she probably just laid there. Sorry. <laughs> a real dead fish, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he did all the work. <clears throat> with a cane mask on. 
<laughs> with the king mask on. She didn't even try to cuddle. It was weird. <laughs> 50, books, 50 Shades of Grey before the book came out. <laughs> oh, That's just a dark area. <laughs> Ew. Uh, that's, right. fucked. that's gray and the rest of it is purple. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. um, 2014. 50 Shades of Clay. Moving on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes! Uh, 2014 Batista one. Blue Tista. <laughs> Blue Tista! <laughs> we knew that shit was going to happen. Oh, fuck Batista. Roman had the most eliminations, broke Kane's record. Yes, he did with 12 eliminations. Good work, sir. Eliminating Dean and uh, Seth. <laughs> And the best in the world went 49 minutes, 11 seconds. That's the last time we saw him. <sighs> yeah. He quit the next night on Raw. He was there and then left. Yeah. Um, I want time off. I need time to heal. What's this fucking thing on my back? Uh, oh, you say it's a fatty deposit? This doctor says it's a fucking staph infection. Right. So, bye. I get it. I, I don't like it, but I get it. Yeah. Over as fuck. Which, uh, I would love for Punk to come back. I don't I, know. I think it's too little too late now. You think? It's been how long now? 2012? So it's been, what, five, six no, years? That was, that was 14. Down 14, so. Yeah, three years. Three, damn, has it only been three years? Yeah. Still. I he's, mean, I understand He's a why. year older than me. He's 37, 37 to 38 now. I understand I mean, why. He's not old. Left. I can say that because I'm 36. I mean, as good as he is, the best in the world as he can be, you can only do so much if they're going to pull the strings and tell you how you got to do shit. And if you don't agree, you, you walk out. I mean, I don't agree with him quitting, but... I could see him being like, fuck you guys, I'm going to NXT. Duh. <laughs> but they still run NXT. No. He should do like he said on the stage. I'm going back to Ring of Honor. Go to New Japan. Yeah. Do wrestle. I mean, if that's your, if that's your passion, wrestle... Just don't not, don't wrestle for Vince. Can you see him in in, in New Japan against Kenny Omega? Ah, oh, <laughs> or against Okada. Speaking of which, I just heard that he signed with New Japan again. No, oh. I know. I'm not happy. Oh well, yeah. I didn't see him coming to WWE anyway. So but, I mean, but hey, also AJ Styles said the same shit last year. Oh, uh huh. Swerve. Yes. Um, just like now, troll. Let's see. Oh, what? 2015, Roman Reigns. Roman. Uh, eliminated Rusev. Yep. Uh, Re- Reigns, Rusev, and Bray Wyatt each had six eliminations. Mm. That's 18 out of 29 eliminations. Really? Damn. <laughs> uh, Bray was in there 47 minutes, 29 seconds. <clears throat> Coincidentally, sorry, there were 28 eliminations in this match. As that was the birth of Axel Mania because he never nah. ever competed in that match. He wasn't eliminated. Never the, eliminated. He wasn't eliminated from the Royal Rumble until the next year. Dude, when they had <laughs> Axel, who was it playing Savage? It was Sandow. Man, that that, that could have went places. It was it was Macho Mandow. Right. The Meta Powers. Oh yes. They could have went somewhere and they didn't. And then do nothing fucking, with and then, them. No, 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 no. That sh- Hulk Hogan shit came out. Ah, and uh, we got we got to drop this Hogan thing you guys are doing. Ah, uh, motherfucker! It was it was great. Yeah, I, I really liked it. It was something different. Like yes, <laughs> they did the handshake. We just we just needed a that whole slow <laughs> lean into a handshake. Yeah, you know that they just needed somebody to play fucking warrior and they'd have been ah oh, perfect. Right back could have been the warrior. Oh Jesus! He comes out with a wig on, <laughs> loses it when he runs down to the ring, <laughs> runs back and picks it up. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> oh. Instead of painting his face, he just has a warrior mask on. <laughs> like the kind they sell to the kids. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, oh, we saw the Ascension win on that pay-per-view. They beat the New Age Outlaws. Probably the last time they won. <laughs> I haven't seen them on TV. They Except for the Battle Royal. Sorry, night. the Lumberjack match. Yeah, yeah, that was it. They've been in like eight-man tag matches and shit on pre-shows. Like It'll be them and the VOD villains versus... All Which, this NXT talent that should be some, uh, right. somebody. Those two teams, exactly, um, are being Shit. not used in the same way they were on, on NXT when they were getting Shit. over. Excuse me. And Shit on. They were dominant as fucking NXT, and now it's like, fuck, yeah. Pff, Bob Villains are former NXT I, champ. I want to see uh, them against the Authors of Pain. Oof. We're going to cover that, too. I, I, yeah, we're I gonna, like DIY, but oh, man. Yeah. 
Big D Lo yeah. not happy. <laughs> we got two cruiserweights against the authors of pain. Big D Lo is not happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. I surprised. Uh, Somebody spliced D Lo Brown and right in uh, fucking Bobby Lashley together. Twins. <laughs> Uh, I'm surprised I'm not wearing the big old spiked shoulder pads. Right. Uh, last year, we of course, Triple H. Triple H won the Royal Rumble and the WWE Championship. Throughout, uh, was it? By last, last uh, eliminating Ambrose. Ambrose. First Roman. he threw out Roman to make sure. It was like, oh, Roman is not winning. We're going to have a new champ no matter what. And then we're like, come on, Dean. And I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Triple H. Yeah. Uh, Roman went 59 minutes, 48 seconds. Wow. Him and Braun. Yeah, he was number Him one. and Strowman eliminated five each. But the highlight of last year's Rumble was AJ the Styles. debut of AJ fucking Styles. Sorry, Kenny Oz. A- AJ Styles is the fucking man. I know you hate his theme song, but damn it. AJ fucking Styles. <coughs> Ugh, sorry. Yeah, I'm not really too into his theme song. Uh, it's not the best. Yeah. But I don't. I look past the theme. I don't care about the theme song. Yeah. It could be better. Yeah. You know, but God damn it, it's AJ fucking Styles. Right. And I, psh, I don't give a fuck what he comes out to. He can come out to fucking musical chairs for all I give a shit. You know? <laughs> right. It's AJ fucking Styles. He'll make it work. <laughs> is that Mr. Ice Cream Man? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I'll give you your ice cream bars, God damn it. No, I'm, I was going Master P with it, but okay. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> I had, Cincinnati. I had, <laughs> I had the album. Uh, well, the Rumble has a rich history. Go ahead. Uh, just yeah, knock yeah. it off. Yeah, whatever. Man, I was I, I, I totally lost what I was going to say. ICP. With your... Who's going chicken hunting? <laughs> I don't know. I say Who's going I, chicken hunting? Every time I go to the bathroom, it's ICP. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere. Uh, I missed. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it means what it means. <laughs> No, man, no. <laughs> Every time it's on, I have to watch uh, uh, Daddy Daycare with my daughter. No. Go on. <laughs> She's nine. I'm sorry. It's okay. I missed. What does that mean? No. And it's on the ceiling and shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> the kid pooped. <laughs> Here we are talking about uh, Daddy Daycare. Not his best movie. No, not his best movie. Talking about Daddy Daycare, and later on, we're going to be talking about Suburban Commando. Whoop, whoop. Yep. <laughs> oh, holy shit. So this year's Rumble. All right. You want to get into this year's Rumble now? I like how up in the air it is. It's very unpredictable, and there's not a foreseen winner like it has been in the last recent years. We knew Roman was winning. We knew Batista was winning this year. It's like, huh. It could be anybody. This year's Rumble, the card itself is looking interesting. It's very unpredictable. Yeah. As far as the match itself. Then you got Cena and, Cena and John, or I'm sorry, Cena and AJ. Yeah, we got Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns for the paper championship. I mean, the Universal yeah. Championship. With which, Jericho if you've, and you're the second person to hold that title after the first guy had to give it up less than a day of holding it. And I don't give a shit that you get to call yourself. The longest reigning Universal Champion. It's true though. It's yeah. It, 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 it is a true a statement. Match. Yeah. At least he won the match to get it. It is a true statement, but you're the second person both, to hold it. Both matches you're upset about though involve Triple H. Yeah. 2002 and now. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. He was handed the title then, and he was handing the title away now. Yeah. But it, at least Owens pinned somebody to win the title. I mean, yeah, yeah he, he was kind of handed the victory, but. He won the match to get it. That involved Big Cass for some reason. <laughs> Everybody's like, ooh, Roman. Ooh, Seth. Oh, shit, Kevin Owens. Big Cass? Like, he just stood out like nobody's business. Like, why the fuck? <laughs> He's in it to get the last pinfall. That's what it is. It's, Somebody's going to beat his ass. That's not it's a- like that ECW triple threat match with... Uh, Mikey Whipwreck? No, no, it was, it, uh-huh. was ter- it was Terry Funk. Uh, Same man. S- Sam Man, was it was it Sam Man, and then Stevie Richards. <laughs> <laughs> one Wait. of these does not belong. <laughs> one of these things is not like the other. Right. One of these things just doesn't belong. Oh, you're just here to get your stuff in and look good for the people, and then you're gonna lose cast. Super kick somebody, and then that's it. Right. Big boots. Um. Let's see. I'm on the on the wiki page. Um. 
We got three matches that aren't going to be on TV, which could be on on the pay per view. Sasha and Nia Jax. Yep. I'm I'm already sick of seeing them fight each other. Yep. I'm done. Yep. I do not. They had to give her somebody else other than Charlotte. It's time to make a trade. Trade one of them. Somebody. I don't know. Uh, Cesaro and Sheamus against Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. This, it's actually for the tag titles, and it's not going to be on the card. Yeah. Right now, it's not on the main card. Nope. Free for all. Free, yeah. Free show. That's bullshit. It's a title match. Yeah. I agree. Um, but I, I, I see Gallows and Anderson winning and getting the titles and going to WrestleMania as the tag champs. Um, a six women tag team match. Becky, Nikki, and Naomi against Alexa Bliss, Nikki James, Mickey James. Did I say Nikki James? You did say Nikki. And Natalia. Is that on the pre-show also? Also on the pre-show. Why is Mickey James just coming back to have her first match back on a pre-show? Right? That makes no sense. She could at least they debuted on SmackDown in a match, you know, beating somebody or something. I mean, Bailey and Charlotte, I mean, you know. And we're just throwing Naomi in there. Yeah. Uh, let's. <clears throat> we need somebody else. How about you? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say... I do not care about any of these competitors at this point. They, they've made me, made me not care about Becky Lynch. Mm. I already don't like Nikki Bella. Mm. Naomi's just coming out of nowhere. Mm. Alexa Bliss, I don't like her finisher. What the fuck is that? That flip moonsault? That spinning... Yeah. It's not even a moonsault. It's, it's like a spinning a, splash. It's a... Uh, twisted Bliss. Is, twisted Bliss. Yeah. She's sexy. Alexa Bliss is the hottest chick on the, in WWE right now. All right, calm it down. And then, and then, single. Told you, single, single. Oh, okay, fine. Have at it. <laughs> She's engaged to Murphy. There's Mickey James. And why, why not bring your husband, Nick Aldis? Magnus from TNA. Magnus. And then there's Natalia, who... I, I'm tired of Natalia. I was, I was proud of her when she called him out and called out Nicky and, you know, John this and John that. Yeah, that was kind of that was kind of interesting when it when it first happened. Now they're kind of running in the ground. Look at this merchandise. Where's my merchant? Oh, look, her her merchandise is right next to John Cena's merchandise. How about that? Shut the fuck up, Natalia. <laughs> I, I'm I'm tired. I'm just tired of her. Uh, all, all six of them. It's like, eh. I don't like listening to Alexa Natalia Bliss talk. is the women's champion on SmackDown, and she's in the free fucking show. Right. The um, tag titles on the freaking free show. Right. Where's American Alpha? They ain't even got a title. They ain't even got a match. No. They're probably in the room. <clears throat> Charlotte and Bailey are on the, on the main card. Oh, of course, because it's Charlotte. Yeah. And then Rich Swan and Neville are on the main card. Yeah. Which I see Neville taking the belt. That's fine. He's the only one that really matters right and now. And then we'll have Smeagol with his precious. My precious. <laughs> I can't wait for Austin Aries Richard. to join 205. I want somebody to make that meme. Oh, please, somebody out there, make a meme of him. Hey, if you know Smeagol. how to make memes... As soon as he gets the title, do some photoshopping for me. There you go. Please, I will shout out your shit. Oh yeah, tag him in it. Oh, <clears throat> speaking of which, real quick, we passed 500 fucking members of the PWF family. We're at 522 today on the PWF. Family. Monday night, we officially passed the 500. Mark. Yeah. Very awesome. It's like, holy shit! So keep thank you, coming, Tyler. Tyler, uh, he he made it possible. So awesome on that. It's 500 people to talk wrestling with. 500. Just started as an idea. Amazing. And and, and I said this before. I, I think I said it in the in the in the group on Facebook. But <clears throat> excuse me. What's awesome about being a wrestling fan and talking wrestling with people, and it, go, it goes for the same with sports in general. You can have people from all walks of life, all political backgrounds, all that shit. Ethnicities, race, everything. Sex, yeah. Creed. Right. Matter. Yeah. All in the same thing. Yep. You know? That's amazing. Yeah. So it, this is a lot of the people's first episode. Even though this is like, I don't even know what episode we're this is. We're in our like... I lost count. I don't give a shit at this We're point. in like 30 something. Something like that. I would think so. But yeah. a lot of people, they've never even heard the podcast. This is the episode for today. That's all it is. Yeah. So today's episode. Yeah. <laughs> so we quit, we quit keeping track, but I mean, shit. All the 522, you said? Yeah. Last I saw. And I remember when it was like 25. I was there when it was like 25. And I remember, I think I got to maybe, I was I was doing random shit, just just a page. I was doing random shit, and just uh, you know, asking people for votes. You know, uh, who who's your favorite? 
and whoever gets the most vote, I'll make this, the screensaver at the top of the, yeah. of the page and shit. And then you came at me like, you should make me an admin. I'm like, okay, you're an admin. I'm like, it was not hard at all. And then you're no, there, there was somebody mm. in there spamming the place up, and I'm like, dude, oh, yeah. like you're not here, you're not. Like, and that's checking when I it all the, the time. Band saw. I still say the band hammer is a lot better, but but did you see that I combined the two, and now we have the band saw hammer. The band saw hammer. Yeah. Sounds like something you would make on Dead Island. I'm gonna. I tag yeah. the person that I'm gonna do it, so I can embarrass them and show everybody that you're getting a fucking band saw hammer. Then I post the picture of the bandsaw hammer, and once it's long enough for you to be embarrassed and upset that you're leaving, then I cut your ass. Yeah. Bye. Ugh, Jesus. Bye. Yeah, I'm looking at the group right now. 522 members, 21 new members. Yes. Wow. Awesome. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, and I want to give a shout-out since... Well, I'll... I'll, I'll I'll do it in, in something different later on. Or you know what, fuck, I'll do it now. Shout out to Optus Engels for ah. giving us a shout out on their show. Nice. Um, I have a habit of listening to, listen to their shit and giving them shit on Twitter. Nice. Um, <laughs> um, Kyle and Jeremy, you guys are fucking awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, I like their show a lot, so if you know, if you want to hear some, some good shit, go to Optus Engels. Hold on. Is Engels dot com or dot org or something like that. But yeah, they're awesome. I don't have it. As we a need new shirts. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's obtuseangles.libsyn, L I B S Y N dot com. There you go. Yeah. Uh, those guys are fucking funny as hell. Um, they're on Twitter too, at obtuse podcast. Um, so tell them Phil sent you. There you go. There you go. We need new shirts, Durbin. <clears throat> we need new shirts? Yes. My shirts. Clean. It's, it, I'm, Not I'm that good. shirt. We need new PWF shirts. We need PW, PWF shirts. Yes. We have more people to sell them to. Well, how about we have uh, like a design thing, you know? Like a contest? Like a contest. And have them vote? Yeah. Yeah. We can vote. There you go. Or use SmackDown, or, uh, Smackdown Live. <laughs> Facebook Live. And, uh, you know, get some ideas because, you know. That works for me. I can do that too. Hmm. I'm always about that. I promote them. I'm, I'm on this page almost every, well, damn near every day. All right. So, so look, we're coming up with ideas right now. It's on the fly. Nice. Random. Yeah. Love it. Huh. So, you know, colors, it doesn't matter. Designs. I don't know if we can do the NWO logo like we were trying to, but, you know. Just trying to, yeah. Copyright infringement. So us come up with a couple designs and have people vote or have people from the page come up with Both. shit. Okay, that sounds cool. Both. Yeah, let's do that. I know Brandon McMahon's been wanting a new shirt. Happy belated birthday, Brandon. Happy birthday, Brandon. Uh, shout out to Kenny. Kenny Oz. Kenny Oz. Uh, I'm giving him full full leadership of his... Uh, he's got a, he's got his own little column he wants to do on the page. I even sent him his own picture so he can highlight it and everything. I was thinking about making him an admin. Not. I don't know. I'd love to have him on the show sometime. We need to get Kenny in here to do this. Kenny yeah. knows his shit. He does. And I'm very proud to have him on our page. Kenny also no notifies me when the bandsaw needs to be used, and I've used it quite often thanks to Kenny. So, so if you can't hear this, it's because of Kenny. We blame you. No, it's okay. It's all good. Kenny's the man, and uh, I was con contemplating making him an admin. I was going to run it by the other horsemen that aren't here, apparently. Yeah, shout out to Daryl and Chris who couldn't make it today. That's all right. Um just like the White House, our podcast is without our cool black guy. Fuck you, Trump. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Jesus. I know about these things, okay? I know about I'm it. trying to not it. talk about Trump. I know these It'll things. just raise my blood pressure. It'll just make me mad. It's the first time a white guy moved into a, a, a government housing after the black guy. <laughs> nice. Uh, I saw that meme, too. Yeah. It's yeah. good shit. It's, it's fucked up, but yeah. <laughs> Racist. Oh, yeah, I'm racist. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> no. Um, I think I'm going to replace the word racist with Trump. Man, you're, you're so Trump. You're such a fucking Trump. You're so fucking Trump. Fuck you. <laughs> Everybody use a hashtag. Yeah, just no, don't even hashtag Trump. Don't do that. All right. Don't do that. Before we uh, continue with our picks for who might win the Rumble this year, uh -huh. I want to talk about TakeOver. Because TakeOver, yes. ha TakeOver has to do with my pick for the Rumble. Yes. Okay? Yes. Um. Let's see, we're gonna we're gonna see Roderick Strong against Cian Andre Almas. Yes. 
Roderick Strong. Fucking hey. Yes. Yes. Because look who's on the roster, and they're not doing nothing with him. Right. Ah. EY against Ty Dillinger. Nice. I think this is their time to push Ty Dillinger, give give him a nice clean win over EY, and lead him to fight later on for the NXT title. Um, <clears throat> I like some Tyler. Fatal Ty. four-way for the NXT women's title. Perfect timing. Oh. Asuka, this is her time to lose. Because the champion can lose in this match and not have any part and, right. the, and the decision. Give it to Nikki Cross. <clears throat> yeah, give it to Nikki Cross. All right, Let that. that be the title that Sanity has yeah. for now. Right. Um, on a DIY and, oh. and Authors of Pain. Oh. This is going to be brutal <laughs> or, or it's going to be beautiful. One of those two. Beautiful, if, beautiful D- if DIY can turn it out. Fucking brutal if the Authors of Pain take over and just beat the shit out of those two. Oh, I, I am a <clears throat> DIY, DIY fan, but damn. Yeah, I don't know what I'm a big fan of DIY. Those guys are awesome. Right. Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Wrestling. The champ is a, champ is a fucking beast, too. Dude. They're matching the Cruiserweight Classic. They try to kill each other amazing. in that. Right. And they're, tag, and they're you know, went, went back to just being tag team again. Yeah, that was great. You lost. But hey, let's, let's tag up again. Yeah, are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. Yep. Hmm. If only the Rockers could have done that. Hmm. Not when you're Marty Jannetty. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> What's that, Marty? What? Mm. Oh. Barbershop window? <clears throat> huh? huh? I'll show you to your seat. <laughs> oh, I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> oh, you did not, Enan. Shut up. He did not know shit. <laughs> I, got a, I got a great idea for us if we ever do like videos for this. You're going through the window. <laughs> we yes. Both, we both walk past the barber shop and just look at it and look at each other. <laughs> look at the window. We should, <laughs> we should do like a, a montage to every tag team that's ever broke up. Just look past the barber shop window and just go to like straight crime time. Like I, I speak jive and just keep going about our business. Uh, oh shit! There's too many tag teams that broke up. It's just yes, there are. Um. But let, let's stick to yeah. NXT real fast. And yeah. We can talk tag teams anytime. All day. Uh, Bobby Roode and Shinsuke. Shinsuke Nakamura. I see Bobby Roode winning. God. If they ever call up Shinsuke, now would be the time Now's to do the it. Time. Because it's WrestleMania season. Yes. And that man can draw yes. whatever the fuck you want. So I see Bobby Roode winning. And then later on, feuding with Ty Dillinger because they have that past history. And it's easy to bring mm-hmm. that back to, you know. Right. Yeah. Call up Shinsuke and Asuka for WrestleMania. Call up Shinsuke and Asuka for WrestleMania. And if you want, take DIY as well. Or the Revival. I'm cool with that The Revival too. should be there already. Revival was fighting... Ain't they fighting somebody else? They're not on the card. Not on the card. Yeah. I thought Revival... Shit, Revival needs to be on the main roster right now. All right. I don't care what show you put them on. Uh, yeah. Preferably SmackDown. Because Revival versus fucking American Alpha? Yes. All day. All day. It, yeah, one bullet, it, it does seem one like the NXT tag teams have gone to SmackDown more. Yeah. And, I saw that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dodd villains and Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I think they'd be a better fit there with I the, mean, young, with the younger cast teams. on Raw. But yeah. They're yeah, but anything. everybody's getting squashed by Braun Strowman now. <clears throat> Dear God. All right. And that takes that's that should take us right now to the Royal Rumble match itself. And who's gonna win? We got twenty two announced people. Goldberg, Brock, Big E, Kofi, Xavier Woods, Jericho, Braun Strowman, Corbin, Undertaker, Dean Ambrose, The Miz, Dolph Ziggler, Cesaro, Sheamus, Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton, Luke Harper, Big Show, Sami Zayn, Big Cass, Rusev, and Mojo Rawley. That's 22 out of 30 people. I'm hoping for some NXT surprises. I'm hoping for some Legend surprises. I'm open to... well. Jake the Snake put out a video that he's going to be in the Royal Rumble. Oh, man. I don't know how credible it is. Maybe he was just, you know, maybe he was just blowing smoke. I don't know. Um, That'd be that'd be pretty cool to see. Yes. Um, We could see any number of legends come back, do their little. Hey, I'm back. Right, RVD. Uh, or RVD's always, you know, <laughs> he's always. Hey, it's it's Royal hey, Rumble I need time. Some weed money. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll kick some ass for twenty seconds or so. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know who could show up. Um, I mean, the one guys from two hundred five are not even on this list. See. Yeah. Right so, there. Right there's a couple options. Yeah. Um, just going off of NXT, what we're talking about, Shinsuke. 
Right. Throw Shinsuke in there. Right. Ty Dillinger. Even yeah, Ty Dillinger. Throw yeah. him in there. Um, I mean that one year, uh, Bo throw, Dallas. The came Ascension. Out. You could throw the Ascension in there. Yeah. Make the main roster guys right there. Bo Dallas came out and lasted a good half hour or so the first year. Fuck and Bo Dallas. Nobody knew who the fuck he was. The, right. year, the year Rusev came out, you're like, who the fuck is this? Right. And like it's Alexander Rusev. You're like, next. Kurt Angle. Dude. Could be in the Royal Rumble. Dude. Imagine him coming face to face with Rusev, Rusev in the middle of the ring. Lana said oh. she wants to see that match herself. She said this is her jury match. Yeah. Rusev versus. Yeah. Apparently they're reading my block. That's fun. <laughs> Eliminate each other in a rumble. Does Set anybody read my blog? <laughs> Set up for Mania. Dude, that, I already got that's so exactly many what I said. Those two WrestleMania. I got so many possibilities for Mania this year. Duh. Uh, I will just I will say I don't like the idea of AJ fighting Shane. I don't yeah. I, I've seen like four I, I, things about I that. I hate that idea. That sounds I terrible. I hate that idea. Because they're saying Cena's gonna win at Rumble. <clears throat> And then he's going to be upset with Shane because, you know, you're the one that made the match. You're the one that made me going to fight him, blah, blah, blah. And he's going to challenge Shane. And Shane doesn't back down from anybody, so blah, 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 Mania. Stupid. Stop putting Shane in matches at Mania. Right. Shane's the fucking j- boss. Boss, yeah. Let Daniel Bryan fight the fucking Miz. Daniel Bryan Mania. against the Miz, please. Yes. Let next year, next pay-per-view, let Miz be in the Elimination Chamber and come out to Daniel Bryan's theme song. You want heat? There you go. Fucking brilliant. Fucking amazing. And it's it's been years building between these two. Fucking amazing. And you got you got Maurice smacking. Uh, 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 no, never mind. That's Dean Ambrose. Yeah, Marie. that was Dean Ambrose. I'm Marie. sorry. Um, have have Maurice smack Nikki or Brie. Well, shit. Brie is still a wrestler. She's just she's retired right, right now. She's not injured. Have Brie like backstage. Brie would beat reason. the shit out of her because Maurice was terrible. Have Maurice and Brie get into it. You know, and then Miz smack Maurice or uh, smack uh, Nikki or Brie. Shit, I can't talk. Yeah, they would both feel it. They're twins, right? Yeah. Have Have Miz do something to Brie? Piss off Brian. That's it. I'm putting on the dragon boots. Yes. Oh. And he and he, and he comes out not more. as not as Daniel Bryan, but Brian as Brian Danielson, Danielson, the American Dragon. <laughs> he'll, he'll, oh, and come out to Final Countdown. Oh out, my God. He comes out. He's like, look, up. Uh, you know. I, Daniel Bryan, can't fight you, but Bryan Danielson will whip your ass. Ah, <laughs> it's the final countdown. Dude, I just fucking mark out like a bitch. I don't even care who uh, sees it. I don't care. So, all right. Uh, Call uh, so off topic. Let's get back yeah. to the rumble. All right. My pick, what I want to see happen, Shinsuke Nakamura winning the Royal Rumble and going to face a... J Styles Ooh. at WrestleMania. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Shinsuke AJ two in the Ooh. biggest stage of them all. WrestleMania. Ooh shit. Five star. Have a five star match as your main event. That, why not? There you go. They need to. They haven't had one in how long? I don't know when they had a good match. The had, best WrestleMania match in recent years is Sean Triple H. Or Sean and, sorry. God, I can't talk. Sean Taker, WrestleMania 25. Um, Wasn't even the main event. Stole the fucking show. Greatest match. Yeah. One of my, my, possibly my favorite WrestleMania match. It was the Iron Man match for a long time. And then, yeah. Sean, yeah, Sean Iron Taker. Man match is a clinic match. If you want to see you know great wrestling, Iron Man match. Shout out Anthony because he was over here the other day wanting to watch it on the network. So there you go. <laughs> oh shit, you can skip matches? Oh, I'm all about buying this. Fuck yeah, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can fast forward. <laughs> He's like, I thought you had to watch the whole thing once you pick it. No. Nope. No, sir. Trust me, if that was the case. <laughs> no. Right. This is a pay-per-view with Nikki Bella. Nope. <laughs> I'm not watching that shit. <laughs> Imagine her in an Iron Man match. <laughs> oh, a 30 minute No! Oh. <laughs> shit, no. She, didn't, didn't, no. she, didn't she fight Brie and then like make her a bitch or something? Yeah, they had, she had to be her like slave type. You know, she had to work whatever for her. I say. Yeah, shit. she had know. to be her Virgil. <laughs> Virgil. <laughs> that was the most racist gimmick. Oh my god. Back then they didn't care. <laughs> Clearly not giving a fuck. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Rich guy and his servant is the black guy. Oh. Dude. Terrible. Oh, the 80s. 
How we missed thee. <laughs> Let me count the ways. One, one thousand. Our bar! <laughs> yeah, so then... All right. Let's talk mania. Okay, so let's talk mania for a moment. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just giving my pick. Oh, sorry, sorry. Just let's my not pick. Skip, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you want to? You want to know my pick, or do you want to? Do you want me to tell you who I think is gonna win, or who I know is gonna win? Let's go with who you think first. Okay. So my original thought was Seth Rollins, but Triple H is gonna be involved somehow. Either gonna be in the Rumble match itself and eliminate Rollins to set up their match for Mania. Or his music gonna hit again like it did on Raw, or he's gonna come out of the audience. And right now he's not in the Rumble. Jump, right, but there's empty spots. Yeah. So there's eight spots he could be in. We yeah. didn't know he was in last year either, and he won. So Seth Triple H is definitely possible, a, a strong possibility to happen to Mania. So I'm gonna say it was Seth. Now it's not. I like. Go ahead. Sorry. Or Triple H could be entered. Uh huh. And Seth comes out and costs him the Royal Rumble. Right, because now Seth, Seth's not in it. Right, exactly. They gave, they gave to Sami Zayn, so now. And, and then we not. see Triple H, uh, Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, which I think they're building to right. all along. Right, um, So, yeah, as far as possibilities go, that's that's going to be in there. Um, Dean's in it. Eh, I like Dean, but, you know... I don't know what they got planned for, you know, another six-man IC title match at Mania. I don't know what's going on with that. They've done it two years in a row now. Um, I think I'm not going to give away the spoiler. I do. I I know some things. I, I'm not going to give it to, give it away because it's not fair. It's not. It's because you're not going to be able to speculate if you know. If I tell you right now who wins, and then they win. Are you going to be like, holy shit, he was right? Or are you going to be like, you yeah, motherfucker gave it away? It'll, it'll, so. be, it'll be the first one. Right. You're like, how the fuck? It's like you know. All right. Uh, l- let me let me throw something out and see if it's what what you think. Uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. Um, Finn Balor. Finn Balor is possibly going to make his return, and I guarantee you he'll be one of them spots. Yeah. I'm probably sure he'll be up in there. That would make perfect sense for him to fight. You have him win and, and fight, fight Kevin, Kevin Owens. Owens at WrestleMania. There you go. The match that would never got. And he beat Kevin Owens at, for the NXT, NXT title. title. Right. Yeah. But where does that put Jericho? Because a lot of people are saying Jericho and Owens are going to fight for the title. I don't want to see them fight for the title. I do not give a shit about them fighting for the title. <laughs> I, I think they're hilarious together. I don't yeah. want to see them break up. I don't want to see them mega powers in. <laughs> you know, WrestleMania 5 all over again. Who's that? Oh, that's my wife. No. Get her the fuck out of here. Right. <laughs> That's right. You are great, and it's just they're they're the, the duo of just you know. You just made the list. You did make the list. I'm like, <laughs> all right. I don't want to see them break it up, but I've heard rumors. Yeah, I missed the list. Taker. I see Taker and Strowman. I mean, yeah. Taker and Strowman. Taker Strowman. I see them as a match or a match for the title. One. No, no title. Okay. Just a match. One on one. They're building Strowman up as a monster. Usually he fights the monsters, the Mark Henrys, the Giant Gonzaleses, the you know, the Batistas. But do you have Strowman beat Taker? No. Okay. Oh, I was no. gonna say. No, no. Give him a fight. <laughs> I was worried. Give him a fight, but What's no, he Taker, saying here? Taker wins. Rock and Goldberg eliminating each other. Somehow, some form, some fashion. They're fighting at Mania. Again. Yeah, I see, don't really care for it. I see so, I see somebody eliminating them just like Sean eliminated Yokozuna and, v- and Vader. Yeah. <laughs> just whoops. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> oh, you're both leaning against the ropes fighting? Who was that? There you go. <laughs> Who was oh, that guy? My bad. <laughs> whoops. Uh, I don't want to see Goldberg and Brock at Mania, but it's money. And I, I understand why it would be a draw. I get it. You know, you want to see it, you know, 13 years after they already did it. This is WrestleMania 33, right? Yeah. We were supposed to see Big Show against uh, Shaq. Shaq. Nobody wants to see that. I, I mean, don't want to I, see that. I but, do not care. But I don't want to see it. As a celebrity aspect to get you know, ESPN and shit involved in it, I see why they would do uh, it. Yeah, I, I do see why they would so do they it, but I don't want to see it. Interview, interview Big Show on ESPN and then have, you know, let's talk to Shaq and... They've been spending Twitter tweets and shit between each other talking about, I'm in shape, me too. Like, 
Oh, big show. I'm, a, I'm a coming to WrestleMania, and I'm going to fuck you. No! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get a Luger and Brett situation. Oh, Lord. <laughs> with the New Day eliminating each of each uh. other. <laughs> uh. That could be funny. Kofi's, Kofi's uh, eliminations are always hilarious. Or his 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 way to uh, his not st- elimination stay to stay in it somehow. Yeah. It's like <clears throat> hopping on chairs and jumping from aprons and it's it's, Act- it's amazing. Actually, I want to see them do an homage to Demolition. Oh, have, have them the come first, out one and two, the, fir- three. the first three <laughs> in the Royal Rumble match be the New Day. Uh, All right, shit. But the New Day would do it smart. They wouldn't try to fight like fucking X and Smash. Spin- God damn it. Dancing and shit the whole fucking five, six minutes there. Number four, Braun Strowman. Oh. Shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Now see, you, see. Put your game faces on. You know they made a monster <laughs> when his music hits and you're like, oh, shit. Because that, that's how Kane used to be in 98. When the lights went out, you didn't know if it would take her Kane, and then the music hit and you're like, fuck. That's how you know you got a monster. <laughs> it's the crazy one. <laughs> now you see Abyss in TNA and you're like, oh, yeah, Decay. Ha. They put you in a tag team. Because you suck. Right. You suck. <laughs> the best. Most over. The only thing anybody's talking about in TNA is what? Broken fucking hearties. You mean Anthem. <laughs> anthem backward is meh. TNA. <laughs> meh. Oh, TNA. Fuck. We have a bird on our logo. <laughs> An owl. Meh. TNA. <laughs> right? Broken hearties. That's who's your champ, Eddie Edwards. Nobody's talking about Eddie Edwards. Nobody's talking about Bobby Lashley. We're talking about Matt fucking Hardy and his fucking brother. Yeah, you're. you're Delete. No uh, one's talking about your world champion. Right. That's, that's terrible. That's terrible. Matt Hardy, as over as he is in TNA, should be your champ. They're already tag champs. Do you yeah. have a secondary title? I don't think you do. I don't even know if they do. They have a couple other worthless titles. They have like a grand championship or something. And I'm sorry if you like TNA. That's Jude McIntyre's title. I mean, I want TNA to, to, to succeed and I would be like, good. I would like to have the option to flip over and watch somebody else and do something different. I'd right. watch Lucha Underground if I could, but I can't because I don't get the channel. I don't get the channel anymore either, and I'm pissed. I watch our, our, uh, Ring of Honor whenever I get the chance, and I remember it's on because it's on at weird hours on a Friday, Saturday night or whatever it is. <laughs> It's on at uh, Jay Lethal fucking ten o'clock on uh, Channel sixty four. Yeah, and he's endorsing like joint cream, like ankles and knee joint and shit. Like, <laughs> okay, um, got to pay the bills somehow. But um, I would watch the other. You know, I don't mind it. But when you turn Damian Sand out into fucking Liberace, oh god, what the hey, hell? Hey, that guy was at like WrestleMania too, wasn't he? Holy shit, what the fuck? <laughs> What the hell did you do to fucking Damien Sandow? And I'm sorry, I'm not ever going to respect a man named Rockstar Spud. You're a potato. I don't give a fuck about you. Right. I don't care if you can, Russell. You lost a hornswoggle. All right, let's see. We got a a World Heavyweight title in TNA, the World Tag Team titles. I'm sorry, Impact. Is it Impact or TNA? Motherfuckers, make make your goddamn minds up. NWA TNA is back when I used to watch it. That makes sense. They were, they were all they were all the NWA titles though. See, this is confusing. You have TNA titles, and then there's an Impact Grand Champion that's, that's held by Moose. Oh, he lost. I guess so. Oh Jesus! I and can't even keep up with that. The X Division title. Oh yeah, that one. <clears throat> and the Grand Division. Oh, Grand... I don't know who their X Division champ is. It's it's an it's a MMA title. Oh. It's basically an MMA match. What the fuck? Yeah. Three minute rounds with special oh, event yeah, matches going five minutes. Ten point must system. All the rules. Judging categories, physicality, aggressiveness, and controlling the action. It's just an MMA kind of thing. Boo. God damn it, TNA. No, see, and this is why. And then now I kind of got excited because they said that Jeff Jarrett and uh, Dutch Mantel were going to be behind the scenes now, and I'm like, well, okay, maybe they can fix it. Yeah. But how many how many fucking people can you put on a sink and shit? He's now an executive consultant, as far as Wiki says. Yeah. Which what does that mean for Global Force? Right. Jeff Jarrett was doing Global Force. Is he doing That's both? That's his company, yeah. Right. Just like TNA was his because Daddy Jarrett was running TNA when they first started. Him and Daddy Jarrett opened it. Right. Because they didn't want to work for Vince after they shut down WCW. 
That's why TNA was born in the first place. Yeah. It's it's it yeah. was it had a special feel to it when it first started. Right. I used to like the original TNA, and I liked them all the way up until about Aces and Eights, and then it was like, okay, this has got stupid. Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff fucked, fucked it all up. up TNA. So yeah, they bad. did. Six. Uh, they 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 fucked up the ring. The, the ring was the, one of the original things. It's like, wow. The X Division was like, wow. Okay, AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Christopher Daniels, Kaz, Eric Young, Team Canada, Petey Williams, Monty Brown. I mean, so much talent has gone through TNA. Nobody's right. CM there. CM Punk was there for a little while. Yeah, Raven. Raven. <clears throat> The Voodoo Kid Mafia. Mafia. The New Age Outlaws. Sorry. The Mafia it's alright. Yeah. They're all... Nobody's there. VKM. They did that shit on purpose. Right. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, and then they called out Triple H and Sean. Called him... They called him by the real names. They too. did, too. Paul Levesque and Michael Hickenbottom. Damn. But, uh... Back then, Main Event Mafia was brilliant. Kurt, Sting, Booker, Steiner, and Nash. All former world champions. All of them had champion. All of them had titles. Fucking brilliant. Sting was your leader, not Kurt. Genius. Sting's been at it way longer. Way to pay respect to Sting. But yeah. At one time you had Sting. You had RVD. You had Hall, Nash, Hogan. Didn't know what the fuck you were doing with him. Didn't do shit. Bischoff fucked it up. Vince Russo fucked it up. You're just, you're just floating in the water. You're just barely hanging on to the point. I don't want to see them fail. I'd like to keep them as an option. If, if I don't want to watch another fucking John Cena-AJ match, I can go watch something else. But And TNA, I tweeted out to you guys, hey, if you're looking for new writing staff, hey, me and Adam are available. Hey, all day. I'm just saying. I mean, I'll work for you, but I'll, <clears> I'll, I'm flipping the script on your asses. I think my wife wouldn't mind to, a move to Florida, you know. Shit. I don't have a wife, so uh, move to Florida. <laughs> you got your kids. Uh, yeah. Visitation. Visitation. Jesus. You get a two-family little house on a beach. I've never seen a beach. Never yeah. been to the ocean. Get a two-family. I'll run upstairs. Yeah, you should. Yeah. See? Uh, All makes sense. Yeah. Never been to Orlando. Need to go to Disneyland World, whichever one it is. Need to go to Universal Studios. I don't know. I'd go. Yeah. If you don't go, I'll go with your wife. It's cool. Yeah, not cool. Yeah. Well, you watch not the kids. Cool. I'll smash that fucking head in like I was goddamn Negan, all right? Yeah, you know what? Pump the Walking Dead. Can't stand it. Zombies suck. Which, by the way, Mick Foley had a barbed wire bat. Barbie! Before it was cool. Yes, he did. <clears throat> yes, he did. Negan sucks. <laughs> Negan's the best character on that show right now. <laughs> <laughs> his eye came out the side of his face. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> and we're back to wrestling. Look at that. I can transfer anything. Oh no, man. When, all right, Carl's missing an eye. <clears throat> so he, Negan's sitting and talk to him. He's like, take your bandage off, basically. You know. And he's like, holy shit, can I touch it? <laughs> <laughs> like he's forgetting Carl's like 13. You know? Sorry. Uh, I'm forgetting you're a kid. My bad. <laughs> best, show, best character on the show is Daryl Dixon. That's all I need to know. Ah, you know it. There you go. I do. Um... Where were we? Holy fuck. Well, we, we got talking, on TNA. Yeah, TNA. We were talking Mania. We were talking NXT. We talked Rumble. So, yeah. Uh, I know who's winning, but I'm not dropping anything. Man, just drop it. No. L- drop it now. No. Who's winning? Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Yeah, no. Pop it like a tart. Unexpected winner. An unexpected winner. Yep. Mojo Raleigh. God, no. <laughs> not that unexpected. <laughs> I hope he gets eliminated first. <clears throat> Excuse me. Shane. No. Hmm. I'm calling bullshit. You don't know who's going to win. Okay. You believe that. What's your source? Reliable. Reliable source. Reliable source. Fuck sources. you and your fake reliable source. They're not fake. I run the page, goddammit. I created PWF, okay? I'm very reliable on my source. Huh. Next week, Adam Whaley will not be part of the UF <laughs> pod. <laughs> Next week, Adam will do it on Facebook Live by himself. Yeah, I just don't want to squeeze in <laughs> next to you with your fucking I said we can take the phone off, like here, like this, <laughs> and just be like, oh, oh. Yes, I have a small phone, but it has Facebook Live. That's how I do all my shit. But, yeah, all the shit I post, everything. I don't have a laptop. It's all on my phone. I run the fucking whole website on my phone. 
It's not a website. It's a Facebook page. I run the greatest Facebook wrestling page ever by my phone. It is the greatest. It is because I've seen these other motherfucking wrestling sites, and it's you. They okay. I'm not racist. Put this out here. What the fuck? I'm not racist. You know no, what? No, Whenever no, no, somebody no, starts no, no. a sinless sentence like that, they're about to say something fucked up. It's going to be fucked up. And I don't care. Oh Somebody's going to not like it. And that's why I'm a fucker <laughs> lie. I don't care. That's why opinion. Everybody has an opinion and everybody can share it. Nobody, oh. has, a wrong, nobody has a wrong opinion. I am sick and fucking tired of these Indian ass wrestling fans only liking John Cena and Roman Reigns. Fucking sick and tired of this shit where all they, they can't even type John Cena. J H O N Cena. Stop it! You're not a fucking fan. You're a fucking fanboy. You're a fucking piece of shit. Nobody, no good motherfucking fanboy. What the fuck are you fanboy. talking about, man? What are you talking about? These other fucking wrestling sites. Not PWF. Anybody else. Any other wrestling sites you oh, go to. the other to. groups on Facebook? Other groups. All right. They have these fucking fanboys who John Cena is best. You're 12 years old in fucking Mumbai somewhere. A fucking across the world. Happy to have fucking pots and bowls in your house because you live in a hut. At least they're not saying Great Kali is the best. I mean, that's that's a start, right? Dude, these motherfuckers would nut on themselves if you got fucking Roman versus John Cena at WrestleMania. Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I don't know which one to pick. Go to fucking 7-Eleven, make a fucking choice, and shut the fuck up and get off my wrestling page. Stop requesting me. And stop asking to join my page because you have 95... You're a member of 95 groups. And if your last name is not English... Odds are I'm not adding you. Phil might do it. Phil adds almost everybody. Huh? You almost you you, you you Welcome to the group. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the group. And I'm like, fuck is that? I don't know these people. But then I have to ban song because their mother John Cena is best. Like I, I got rid of somebody earlier. I I, I I banned saw somebody. I didn't even make an announcement. I just fucking cut them because they were promoting their t-shirts on our website. Huh. Bye. Nope. If it ain't wrestling related, bye. I'll give you one. I'll give you a warning. And then... Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, we have four admins right now. They have the ability to add anybody. I'm on the page right now. I just saw a fucking epic Chris Jericho meme. It says, that's a nice wall you're building, Trump. It'd be a shame, shame if somebody somebody broke, broke it, it down. down. <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. Uh, but, I, I mean, Daryl can add people. I mean, I'm a, I think everybody can add people, but only we can... I think only us can get rid of them. I think that's how, how it works. Um, but, no, I'm not, you know, hoochoo mushu and shit from fucking Middle Eastern shit. I'm not racist. I'm not. I like Jinder Mahal. I like Grand Country <laughs> Kali. I, I, I like the Bollywood boys. <laughs> right. They can wrestle. I have I have Indian friends. I really do. It's just these 12 and 13. I, I want you to... <laughs> I want you to consider the connotation if you had to say that about a black friend. I have black friends. I'm not racist. Let's think about that for a fucking second. Right. Daryl. Okay. He can back me up. We're good. We've been friends since high school. Oh my god. <laughs> We're all right. We just need to stop. No. I'm just... I don't want to add anybody that's 15 or younger that only likes wrestling because okay. they like Johnson. Maybe it's an age thing. Is that what you're saying? That too. You're, but you're a young and fanboy. Is that what you're saying here? Young fanboy foreign... No good, they, you know, people that sit there, you know, John Cena versus Freddy Krueger. Oh, John Cena. Like, stop. Just, you know, RV Cena. Yeah, my, hey, Daryl, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, it's, oh, I, I can't stand quote-unquote fans like that. You know, like this shit with John Cena on fucking SmackDown. Everybody saying John Cena put AJ Styles to shame with his promo. That was a weak-ass piece of shit pussy promo. AJ Styles, I'm sorry, John Cena would never no, no, last. John Cena would I'm never last a day water. in the fucking Indies. I don't give a fuck. John Cena would be more appreciated if he started in the Indies and worked his way up. That part is true, yes. But for him to say that AJ Styles isn't on his level, <clears throat> AJ Styles doesn't suck dick like John Cena does in the back. Oh, oh. John Cena is a pussy. I say it to his fucking face. If I ever meet John Cena, I say it to his face. He can, I can offer an autograph, and I'll turn his ass down. I don't want it. All right, here AJ comes. Styles all day. All right, I'm, I'm gonna jump in on this. Good. Yeah, 
Cena with his Super Cena shit would not fly in the Indies. No nope. fucking way. Nope. All right. Not at all. They, he would not have been able to do that shit the way he has in WWE. Exactly. All right. That's because it's his shtick. Kick out of two. It's a thing because he does it. You know. I I, I can respect John Cena the person. The 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 yeah fuck charity. Yeah. The, the the all the shit he does. The last one, the first one to show up, the last one to leave. The respect, the shit. I understand that. Great. When you're in that fucking ring, you suck. You fucking suck. You're like the Hulk Hogan of the fucking 2010s. Damn! You suck. I was not a Hogan fan. I was a Randy Savage fan. Why? Because Randy Savage could fucking wrestle. Hulk Hogan was steroids, a big boot, and a leg drop. One, two, three. I'm your champ because I wear yellow. You were not cool until 96 when you fucking joined the NWO. That's when I respected you. That's when I found uh, uh, actually appreciated Hulk Hogan. I think I'm to that. Well, all right. For Hogan, I'm going to say he did that say your prayers, take your vitamins bullshit. It's exactly. Fucking 12 years. That shit. And that shit got stale. And it fed to us as children just like the hustle, toy, loyalty, and respect feeds to kids now with John Cena. Right. Oh, exactly. And I'm going to say, which should have been a t-shirt for CM Punk or somebody. John Cena's hustle is loyalty and respect. Mm, see. Oh, oh. See. I, I I get it. They're selling out to children. They're they're making their money. But go back to I the wanna, attitude. I want to make that a shirt for us. John's <laughs> hustle is loyalty and respect. Go back to boom. <laughs> go back to the, the the attitude era where they didn't sell out to children. Their their fan base. You know, it doesn't matter what the rating is, PG, whatever, PG-13, whatever. You want it, you make the rating whatever you want because in the 80s it was PG. When it was Warrior, Savage, Hogan, Andre, it was PG. We just didn't pay attention because we were kids. We didn't give a fuck. Right. Now they're selling out to kids and girls. That's all Cena's fan base. I don't know too many. There might be a few on the page, Cena fans. I know Daryl's one. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind about the cool black guy thing. Yeah. <laughs> Might have to revoke his. I'm just kidding, ad- man. I take that back. Might have to revoke his admin <laughs> status and give it to Oz. Um, but uh, there, there are a few. But at the same time, I mean, yes, he draws money. Yes, he he sells seats. Yes, he, he puts draws asses in ratings. seats, and that's all that really matters to them. But all as right? far as yes, he's entertaining. I'll give him that. But you, I can't, don't even give him that. I'm, I'm. You can't his, wrestle. His shtick was cool when he was doing heel promos and shit. Yeah. When he was just lacing down people, yeah. cutting, them, cutting them to fucking shreds. The rap gimmick shit. worked. The, yeah, that gimmick was working. Wherever the fuck you became a soldier and started wearing fucking John dog Cena's tags. never been in the military. John Cena can't in, spell war. Okay? He was in the movie The Marine and that's oh. why he's doing his salute shit. Mm, I mean, that's... <laughs> no! He's from fucking Boston! Boston. Boston. Where's your pocket car? Where's your pocket car in Boston? <laughs> Motherfucker. When you could say khakis and not be sure if they're talking about your pants or your fucking car keys. What is your khakis? Khakis. Oh, I don't. I, let, I forgot my khakis. What the fuck? John Cena did not cut a great promo. Yes, he left AJ standing there, but only because AJ was told to. Right. He didn't cut him up. He didn't leave him speechless like Morallo said he did. He got his little. I'm beat your ass. I'm John Cena. Recognize. <clears throat> fuck you. <laughs> Cena is not on AJ Styles' level. No. At all. Cena is not. AJ Styles has been champion everywhere he's been. Ring of Honor, New Japan, TNA, everywhere. Back when TNA was important, he was champ. Multiple times. Could Cena have gone to uh, New Japan ten years ago God. and been a success? God, no. Could AJ Styles have done so? Yes. Yes. John Cena... All right, the mod. All right, let me. I'll say it this way: modern wrestling fans like you and me, we appreciate the wrestling in the ring, right? And like the little kid fans, right. they want to be the enter- entertained with a fruity pebble t-shirt. They want the John Cena's and the Bailey's. Yeah, they want the, John. Uh, I like Bailey. I like, I like Bailey, but I understand Bailey because she was a wrestling fan growing up and wanted to always be, you know. Right. Okay, same as Cena, but he can't sit there and say that AJ Styles isn't on his level, and that he would have been better in the Indies or whatever the fuck he said about the Indies. Because no the fuck he would not. Right. Bailey would have loved to have been in the in the, in the Indies and bo- and learned her craft coming up. Right. And ended up being better because of it. John Cena is all I'm WWE till I die. This blah, conversation blah, blah. right here we're having reminds me so much 
of a Ric Flair versus Hulk Hogan conversation. See? All right. See. Ric Flair in t- in today's indie market would be a fucking king. You know, Ric Flair from '85. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> All right. Would be a fucking king on the indie circuit today. That's... Hulk Hogan '85 would not. See, and that's why everybody is like Hogan or Flair, and then I say for different reasons. Hogan and Flair, because if you go wrestling wise, Flair all day. Entertainment wise, Hogan all day. Right. Just the same as AJ Styles versus John Cena. Right. It's, it's, AJ wrestling. It's the same comparison. Cena's it's a very apt comparison. Right. Yeah. So it's like I said, Cena's the Hogan of our youth, of our our generation. Of this wrestling this, generation. This generation. John Cena is the Hulk Hogan. Right. Unfortunately, I, I'm the, you know, you know, like you said, vitamins, prayers, each, you know, do that. Hustle, loyalty, respect, same exact thing. Seen as hustle is loyalty and respect. See, and you're not going to drop that, but okay, it's cool. I'm going to drop that all day. That's going to be our next t-shirt. I mean, we don't rip it off. We just take it off and throw it in the crowd now, but for same, same. Have my hat. Same Fuck your hat. It's all sweaty. <laughs> I don't want your fucking hat. I'm going to throw it back at ECW One Night Stand. Yes. Fucking throw your toilet paper in the ring because you're full of shit. I love that. Yeah. And ECW crowds were just like an indie crowd is today, you know? Let John Cena show up in the Ring of Honor. I hope the fucking God have Young sh- Bucks super kick the fuck out of John have Cena. Have him show up like under a mask or something. Have him grow a beard and show up in <sighs> Ring of Honor. <laughs> you know? Show up under a different name and still try to do the same Juan Cena. <laughs> five moves of death he does. Five moves of doom. Yeah. Hogan only had two or three. Warrior only had two or three. Warrior was punch, body slams, clotheslines. Shoulder tackle. Shoulder tackle. Get a decent shoulder tackle. That was not. They, they look good. I mean, as a, as a kid, ooh, bright colors. Muscle man talks loud. I like. Now it's like, what the fuck exactly. is he talking about? I love me some Warrior. I was a huge Warrior fan. I'm still a Warrior fan. I go to watch his old shit now, and I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? Rocket fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Rocket fuel. Did he just say he was going to kill Hulk Hogan? He did. Did he just say that? Yes, he did. Well, Booker T called him a... Never mind. Oh, God. Um, all right, everybody, we're back. Um, had some technical difficulties. I hit a button. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not a professional. This. You fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ECW crowd. You fucked up. You fucked up. You Thanks. fucked up. Yep. Any So anyway. So what's up? Let's talk about some happy shit. Let's talk happy. Let's talk suburban commando. Good movie. Let's travel back to 1989. <laughs> oh God. Hulk Hogan had... No, no, never mind. Hulk Hogan didn't have any fucking hair. Get it, do, get it, get it, get it. Hey, yeah. Uh, you can retro movie all you want. <clears throat> See, it starred Hulk Hogan and Christopher Lloyd. Shelley Duvall. Shelley Duvall, which I can only think of them as Doc Brown and uh, Olive Oil. She's also in The Shining. She's also in The Shining. That's right. Yep. Um, and I can't think of anything else for Shelley Duvall other Popeye. than Popeye. Yeah, Popeye. Yeah. yeah Popeye and, and not Shining and then and then this. That yeah. It. I'm sure she's been in other things, just nothing's coming to mind. I have to wiki, but I don't want to. I could do that. Yeah. Of course, <clears throat> Doc Brown. Yeah. Oh, Christopher Lloyd. Greatest fucking trilogy of all time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Of all time. Whoa. I'm not today. I'm not. Slow the fuck corrected. down. Nope. You will be corrected, sir. Try. Uh, Star Wars, <clears throat> the original trilogy. Trilogy, maybe, but now that they're <clears throat> on eight, who oh, the last Jedi? No, 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 no. The original trilogy stands alone no, no, in no. its awesomeness. Because yeah. he don't, was, because she count. was making out with her brother. <laughs> That's the greatest trilogy of all time. So you've seen it. Yeah. Upset now, are you? I'm not upset. I'm uh, fine. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of problems wrong with Star Wars. Betcha, betcha. <laughs> fine, fine. I mean, yeah, the, the Kessel Run thing, you know, 12 parsecs. Is it a unit of yeah. time or a measurement? Eh, fuck yeah. you. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. It's a movie. Back to the Future is still the greatest trilogy of all time. Yeah, with... All right, we're, we're going to have to go 1A and one, one 1B on this. Star Wars and Back to the Future. 1A and 1B. Because I was waiting on you to say like, <clears throat> Lord of the Rings or, or Twilight or some shit. No. Twilight? No. the hell is wrong with you? No, fuck Twilight. Fuck into Twilight and everybody yeah. that was in Twilight. You know what vampires do in the sunlight? They die. They, they don't suck. sparkle. They suck. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. They uh, suck. She had a lot of 
movies. I'm looking on her oh. uh, Shelley Duvall's wiki page now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's. I'm pretty Nothing sure. since 2002 though. Oh. She was on Doctor Phil last year. Oh. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe just to talk about herself. I don't know. Okay. But uh, yeah, nothing since 2002. Damn. She is 67 years old. Wow. Holy shit. So she did do. No, never mind. Frank and Weenie. Frank 19, and Weenie. 1984. So, so did you enjoy the movie? Uh, Suburban Commando, the thing we're supposed to be talking about. Right. Look, <laughs> I like this movie. That doesn't make it a good movie. Right. All right. The reason we're watching that we watch the movie is because we're trying to make reference to movies with wrestlers in them. Yeah. So what I want to do is this is our first pick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's wrestling related. Trust me, we're gonna get we're gonna move up. There are <laughs> there's a lot of movies about wrestling that have wrestling in them. Yeah. So I mean, Ready to Rumble is gonna be on our list somewhere. Ready to Rumble. God oh. yes. Yes. Uh, the wrestler will probably be on there. Uh, they live has to be on there. They Live is definitely going to be on there. I mean, but, you know, Scorpion I'm, I'm King, buying the special Blu-ray of They Live. I have to own, I have to own They Live. I'm shocked yeah. I don't own it yet. Um, but, you know, Scorpion King, The Rock, Condemned, Stone Cold, um, See No Evil, I have that. King. There's tons of wrestling movies out there. Miz is a couple. I mean... John I, Cena. Body Slam with Roddy Piper. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cla- That's one of my favorite wrestling movies, all right? There you go. It, it puts wrestling... And like, like it's real, okay? It is real. Shut the fuck up. It's still real to me, damn it. Fine, it's real to you. <laughs> nice. Segue. It's still real to me, damn it. That's a nice segue. Crying wrestling fan. <laughs> he is so upset. Anyway, movie. All right, so we got Hulk Hogan, Christopher Lloyd, Shelley Duvall, Larry Miller plays uh, Mr. Belts, uh, Christopher Lloyd's boss. Um. We see special appearance by Mark Calloway. Nice! The Undertaker. You're a dead man, Ramsey. Who's credited. They break kayfabe on The Undertaker, but not on Hulk Hogan in, in the credits. Because Undertaker wasn't that, that was right. 89? It has his real... 91. 91. It has his real name on there. Nice. So, um, or, or at least what, you know. Yeah, so Mark he, wasn't, Calloway, really, he yeah. wasn't really known yet. Hulk right. Hulk Hogan was already champing. Right. Yeah. Um. So... All right, we'll start off. There's the epic space battle scene, which I'm just going to say, looks like George Lucas's <laughs> kid made this in George Lucas's fucking basement. <laughs> and was like, Dad, look what I made for, for school. Oh, yeah. That looks awesome. No, it does not. No. <laughs> it's no. like ECW being produced in a basement. <laughs> it's like, uh, stand in front of the camera curtain and talk for uh, 20 minutes. I know that we're ironically recording a shitty podcast in a basement. Hey, you know what? Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. But the that... only thing I remember from that segment <laughs> on the, in the movie that we're talking about is when he's upset that he has to go to Earth. <laughs> I hate Earthlings. Earthlings. But those fucking special effects are <laughs> terrible. Who made the movie? Um, let me see. Uh, directed by Burt Kennedy. Is it like Universal or, or MGM or uh, New Line Cinema? Ah, the same people that brought us Ninja Turtles. It had a budget of eleven million dollars. Wow. And brought in eight million at the box office. They were under budget like a bitch. Yeah, that's you lost million. money making this Hulk Hogan movie. <laughs> yeah, because it's not Thunder in Paradise. That's why. Well, several years Ooh. before Thunder. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> he shuddered. He literally <laughs> shivered like, oh, God. Uh, I that actually, was, I, I wish that was it. on Netflix. <laughs> I'd watch it. Yeah, I'd watch it. Just, I'd watch it. Just I'd like, there's Sting. Sting. <laughs> there's Virgil. <laughs> Look, it's it's Sid and Vader on the, on the beach with flip-flops. Brian Knox. Hmm. Or Brian Knobs. 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 Uh, and then we go to... Uh, Let's see, uh, Christopher Lloyd has problems with his fucking neighbors because they're dicks, and he can never stand up to them. Yeah. Pussy. Pussy. Right. Doc's a pussy. Yeah. He's always going to be known as Doc. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, he was on Taxi, but damn it, he's Doc. In most of my notes for him, I just wrote Doc. You know? Damn it, he's Doc. <laughs> we get to Doc's office later on. That's what I put here. Because <laughs> <laughs> Back to the Future is the best yeah. trilogy of all fucking time. <laughs> um... Shep lands. 
in a roller disco or something. <laughs> what the fuck? It, what the fuck was that place? I don't remember. <laughs> I, don't, I, I mean, yeah, he was all confused and shit, and he's like looking around, like, "What the fuck? Did I, where the hell am I?" This is great. Uh, now you have to remember, you're going by notes. I'm going off the top of my head in a yeah. movie that I remember vaguely, but I still remember. I told you to take some notes. Uh, yeah. I don't need notes. I have. I thought it'd be mental, better, but you know, whatever. Listen, fine. I don't need notes. I've never needed notes. Okay. Ever. Uh, and then, uh, Shep, you know, rents the apartment from them. Hashtag never needed notes. Fine. <laughs> I have a lot going on in my head, okay? He has books. <laughs> he has, like, binders over here. I have one notebook. Today. Today, <laughs> yeah. Um, that whole folder is your shit. <laughs> Shep lands after complaining about having to deal with earthlings. Shep. Shep Ramsey. Shep Ramsey. Yeah. I'm going to get to that later. Yeah. I want okay. to talk about Shep Ramsey later Something on. He sounds like a... Yeah. Distant relative of somebody else I know. Brian's fucking terrible. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. Oh, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> His great great uncle Shep. <laughs> Chef Shep. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, he rescues Christopher Lloyd's kid from some surfer dude, almost mowing him down. Like, holy shit. Yeah. I think I was not paying attention. Almost killed him. You see that dude? That's where. Insert name here. Lives. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Mashes the kid's skateboard. All right. <clears throat> oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, fine. Hmm. Shut the fuck up. You look like a big fucking cyborg with blonde hair. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Who are you? And why are you touching <clears throat> my kid? Right. Get off my kid. Why wasn't he like, who the <laughs> fuck are you? All right. Oh, Where did you, you come from? No, motherfucker, you look like Iron Man slash Thor. Like, how the fuck... <laughs> Not even the good Iron Man. You look like the black Iron Man. You look like War Machine with fucking <laughs> Thor's hair. Oh. I'm, not, I'm not Iron Man. I'm the black Iron Man. <laughs> you have to see the new Kevin Hart. It's hilarious. All right. Making fun of Don Cheadle for being not War Machine. <laughs> not... Why would you make fun of Don Cheadle? Don Cheadle did a good job. <laughs> okay. All you right. say so. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> like how he, he chases down the fucking car. And turns it over on its side. Yep. Rips the door off. And Chris, and he's pulling the guys out, and Christopher Lloyd's like, "No, you don't have to do that. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It's not. I'd Beat the him. shit out of that guy. You damn, you killed my kid. I'm right. killing. You should be here kicking his ass. Right. You should. That's be what you should doing be doing. doing. He's all, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, don't do anything. And then he comes back and spins the fucking car. Right. Just <laughs> one handed. Like what the hell? You can tell Hulk Hogan was on steroids at this point. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is back during the, the trial and, and all that shit with Vince and yeah. WWF. F. Get the F out. Yeah. Pandas suck dick. <laughs> I still want the shirt. <laughs> with, the, with the chair? With the chair. <laughs> WWF. I want to send Vince McMahon that shirt. <laughs> I, wonder, I, wonder if he, I wonder if he has it. <laughs> Probably hanging in his office. In a, <laughs> like, it is funny. Yes, it is. No, I have a sense of humor. I wonder if you would... If you would autograph my XFL ball. Why do you have an XFL ball? Because I like the XFL and I thought the ball looked really cool. You are the only one. Probably. Oh, I am gosh. Anyway, Shep's walking through the, through the town, sees that dog in the car. Breaks the window. <laughs> no, he doesn't break the window. No. He sees the owner yelling at the dog from the restaurant. Yeah. Yeah, the guy. And cut to... You know, the guy's in the car with the muzzle on and, and the dog's, the dog's eating, eating yeah. the food. Yeah. I'm like, didn't anybody see him kicking this guy's <laughs> ass? <laughs> you know? Nobody nope. called Quick the cops? Segue. Nope. Nobody right? saw nothing. Nope. I didn't see shit. <laughs> nope. People are still just there like, oh my god, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> Thor Machine didn't do shit. <laughs> Thor Machine. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see a goddamn thing. Right. <laughs> nope. It's like he's the fucking mafia. Nobody saw a goddamn thing. Nope. Big... Big Tommy Bones over there didn't do shit. I ain't see nothing. Right. Nope. I ain't see shit. Gets to nighttime and we see the mime doing his uh. <laughs> 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 stuck in the box routine. Oh, it must oh. be a class seven force field. I'll break you out. <laughs> right in the fucking face. <laughs> oh, dude. I love it. I feel sorry for the Now mime. I have to watch it. I'm going to go watch it again. Yeah, now you're going to watch it. See? Oh, no, I, now I have something to watch tonight. Thank you. <laughs> I, I was worried about what I was going to do tonight because I don't have the kids or nothing. Once you leave, all I was going to do is get dinner. That was it. <laughs> yeah. Watch the network or something. 
Oh, Excuse shit. Me. I've already binge watched every Rumble, so I don't know what else to watch. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, NXT. That was last night, but I didn't watch that yet. I didn't so. get to watch it yet either. So I'll have to watch that. Um, Their build up's pretty nice, right. though. And the, like, like the next day, Shep goes back to his ship, and like Christopher Lloyd's following him. And Shep, his fucking hideout is unlocked. <laughs> Did you pick up on that? Genius. Do you remember? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. wait a minute, that fucking door's unlocked. It's a fucking spaceship, and you left it open. <laughs> right. Your spaceship <laughs> <laughs> that you need to get off this planet is in there. <laughs> What if, what if some, a fucking alien. What if some nosy ass kid? <laughs> right. And he was an illegal alien. Oh shit! See, <laughs> some nosy ass kid walks in there. He's like, "Whoa, look at this!" And you're fucked. Et phone home. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! And then uh, then he finds the ray gun. Christ, yeah, Christopher Lloyd saves the girl. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Doing good is its own reward. Oh, Fuck you. You're not a hero. Meteor Man. Uh, <laughs> you remember Meteor Man? I remember Meteor Man. <laughs> oh, I used man. to think it was so amazing. Oh, hashtag Meteor Man. Look it up. Another terrible movie. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> you know, I've watched a lot of bad movies. Spaceballs. <laughs> Spaceballs is funny. It is funny, but it's a The sequel movie. comes out next year. It's terrible. Yeah. It, is Rick Moranis in it? I think so. Spaceballs 2, The Search for for More Money. I thought he quit. I thought he quit doing movies. I don't know. Oh, shit. Um, That's crazy. There's a lot of bad movies. A lot of bad, bad, bad movies. Look, I like a lot of movies that are just bad. My favorite movie when I was a kid, The Beastmaster. You watch it now, it is a bad movie. Pagemaster, you remember that? Yeah, I remember, the, yeah, I remember With that. With Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. With talking in books and in cartoons and shit. Yeah. Terrible. Never um, ending story. They killed the horse. Oh my god, I was that was the first time I ever cried for a movie. And the horse drowned in the mud. I was so sad. Fox and the Hound cried at that. I'm emotional. I don't give a fuck. Go ahead and say what she was doing. Uh, <laughs> Betray you, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> Shep walks past the arcade and hears this kid yelling about, <laughs> about saving about saving the galaxy. <laughs> He thinks it's real. Yeah. He whoops his ass and the video game's ass <laughs> and punches it and all the quarters come out. You must play this game a lot. Game? What, what game? game. <laughs> oh, <it's>, uh, Jesus. <laughs> Cheesy as shit. Right. <gasps> like then, fucking Belveda. Then, then we see the bounty hunter and his stupid friend. <laughs> Who was the friend? The Undertaker and his... Undertaker and the non... non Their names non- are Hutch person. and Knuckles. And I hope to God Undertaker was Hutch. Yeah, Hutch was the Undertaker. They're gone. Knuckles. Right. Uh, Knuckles. Eh. Had a pretty lengthy career. He's also on uh, the Flintstones in Viva, La- La- Viva Rock Vegas. Wow. The, word, the, bad the Last Boy Scout. Oh. 16 Candles. Hey. Really? Yeah. Okay. So. Breakfast Club was better. Yeah. Breakfast oh, he book. died in 2015. Damn. Tony Longo. Rest in peace. Oh, that's sad. Yes, it is. So, uh, I feel bad for making fun of him. Yeah. I was making fun of your appearance in that movie, not you as a whole. R.I.P. Knuckles. <laughs> Knuckles. Sonic Knuckles. Sonic <laughs> and I don't blame you for the for the naming of your character in that movie. Yeah, right. I'm, you're going to play Knuckles. Oh, okay. Fine. Just pay me. Young I was, needed the money I did. Right. Nicki Minaj I did. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, after uh, Christopher Lloyd, after Doc saves the girl, <clears throat> Shep sees that some of his shit's missing and goes to Doc's office and his secretary's like, um, he's in a meeting. Take a seat. I said, take a seat. And he comes back home carrying the fucking chair. Yeah. It's like, funny, real funny. And then she yeah. sits down, she's all hot and bothered, like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you talk about it? I see it in my head playing. Like, right? See? Okay. Okay. I remember. Uh, and uh, I just have a note that the, uh, the homing device is just a direct ripoff of Egon's PKE meter. You know what? <laughs> Ghostbusters <laughs> fucked the world, right? man. Ghostbusters was amazing. <laughs> One like, and two. Fuck I'm this like, new girl. Is that shit. Egon's PKE machine? <laughs> Rest in peace, Egon. Oh, and what do you get? Yeah, well. 
We're doing something fun. You made it sad. You you want to talk about rest in peace, Knuckles? It's bullshit. <laughs> Everybody's dead. Betray you. <laughs> Damn it. It's all your fault, man. I, I killed the horse. Okay. Yeah, At least he had a dragon. Yeah, he had a dragon. Um, some other fun shit. Oh yeah, when they go to get the crystals, and Shep's fighting with the bounty hunters. He hits Knuckles with the fucking steel rod, and then gives it to him. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? Why would you give it? I know it didn't affect him. Why would you hand it to him? <laughs> it's a it's a cactus jack chainsaw Charlie moment. Here's a chair. Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest you can. Royal Rumble 98. They're the first two. <laughs> the cactus hits him about three, four times. Hands the chair to fucking Terry Funk. Go ahead. <laughs> Chainsaw. Just lean into it. We all know that was Terry Funk, we god damn it. it. Don't we know. Never Jerry, mind. Uh, J- Jerry Lawler and, and JR are just trying to play this shit off. He even took the mask off and wore it half off on his, on his head. Saw that it was Terry Funk. Still called him Charlie Chainsaw Charlie. Yeah. Still. Good job, Jim Ross. <sighs> and, and Funk was in WWF before, right? Yep. Right? He's in WrestleMania too. Yeah. Yeah. We know who that is. That's Terry Funk. Yeah. That's all you had to say. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Sad face. Yeah. Um. Uh, fuck, giving him back the steel. Oh, he, gave him the, he gave him the steel pipe. <clears throat> and then we get the classic line, You're a dead man, Ramsey. <laughs> no wonder you guys <laughs> never talked. Ugh. I was frozen today. Yes. That was the best shit. Uh, Andy Free. This isn't what I do. Oh, shit. Christ. I was frozen today. Oh, poor Doc. Oh, God. Um, Doc. I don't remember how it ends, though. I know um, he went back home, but I forget why and how. And Oh, yeah. He, uh, when they're fighting uh, Suter, who I just wanted to call Zerg. Every time I <laughs> thought of him, <laughs> I was like, bass in your voice. I was like, Zerg, you know, it's fucking Buzz Lightyear. Get him, Buzz. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> At the beginning, like the president guy that he was gonna kill through the fucking metal plate or whatever, and slice his hand off and re- reveal the alien hand. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Doc has the muscle thing that Hulk Hogan usually wears. The, the muscle, muscle glove, like yeah, the power glove, the power glove, <laughs> the power glove. Yes. Now we're playing with power. <laughs> yes. And he's baby. Fucking grabs his nuts. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That yeah. will bring out the fucking incredible Hulk in anybody. Okay. <laughs> he turned him into the, he, he just shed his skin or whatever he did yeah. under. They, they didn't show it, but it was you know under the robe. Right. And god damn. Greg Nicotero was not involved in making that goddamn <laughs> alien costume. I swear to God. That shit was terrible. Oh, what, do you, oh what, do you, what do you expect, man? 80s. 91, then, not 80s. Uh, uh, still, I'm pretty sure they started in the 80s. Same people that brought you E.T. and Adventures in Babysitting. And, oh, that was the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Adventures in Babysitting didn't have any uh, special effects, I don't think. Uh, no. Still, bad movies. Except Vincent D'Onofrio was the guy that played Thor. See? Yeah. A blonde Italian guy. It's weird. Thor machine. Thor machine. Um, Hashtag Thor machine. Yeah, then they... He, they kill Suter, blah, blah, blah. Save the day. Now I can go back home. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He, he decides... He, he gets the, the shit the bounty hunters live on that, that we're in. But before that, we see the girl with the cat in the tree. <laughs> you remember the first time? That's not my cat! Oh. <laughs> right. Then he finally gets the cat. And, uh, oh, shit. The second time we see her, he's getting the cat down and she grabs the branch. <laughs> she goes away. Fucking catapult. See you, bitch. Get a goldfish. <laughs> bye bye, chick. <laughs> uh, so, I mean. It has some highlights. Oh, in it. yeah, there were some highlights in the movie. It's, it's a fun movie. It's not a good movie. It's a kid friendly movie. It's a kid friendly movie, yeah. I'd give it a C. Except when Shelley Duvall tries to uh, tries to seduce her husband, I, I don't want to see Shelley Duvall in any kind of you know negligee thing. That's that's yeah. I just did a Ms. Girl face. <laughs> Ms. Girl face. Ms. Girl face. Uh, that's right, the Ms. Girl. I forgot about that. <laughs> she was pissed. <laughs> oh, she was ready to kick his ass. <laughs> I want to see a picture of her now, like next to her meme. <laughs> you know. 
Uh, Years later. Are you still pissed? Fuck yeah. So, if you're looking for just a fun movie, watch Suburban Commando. It's a good movie. You see Hulk Hogan in 1991. Um, I give it a C. Yeah, I give it a C too. Yeah. I'd rather watch DuckTales the movie. Is there DuckTales the movie? Yes, there is DuckTales the movie. Okay. Treasure of the Lost Lamp. Yes, sir. Good. I have children. I know you do too, but... Yeah, just... Yeah. I have the DVD if you want to borrow it. <laughs> It'll get lost in my house. Yeah, it will. You've seen my house. I saw your house. It'll get lost just in your damn Infinity figures. Good God. I can't go to the store and see Infinity figures without being like, I wonder if they have that one. 